Oh, this music's so good. <laughs> hey guys, welcome. Oh my God, this music is so good. <laughs> I'm just jamming, man. <laughs> Why does this soundtrack go so hard? Thank you guys for joining and thank you in our China 20 rows. Very early stream chat. Enjoy the stream. I still have to catch up on the VODs. Haven't seen the first trial. Have fun catching the VODs. Bye bye. Thanks for stopping by. It's like, oh, I appreciate you. I don't know if you're still watching. You might be at work or something now. But uh, thanks for uh, thanks for the donation. That's super sweet. <laughs> I like your little niche icon. <laughs> oh, man. But welcome, guys. I hope you uh, are excited for the stream. So we got, um, whatchamacallit. We got the second trial today. Let me move this a little bit too. But uh, we got the second trial today. I'm um, in the investigation. I was like trying to refresh myself. I took some notes because like <laughs> I've never done like one of these like board game kind of things before. You know what I mean? Where like uh, you know you have to like move the characters on the screen. I think like Fire Emblem does that. I've never played Fire Emblem. I probably should. I think I probably would like it, but I don't really have any experience with that so I was like I'm gonna take notes beforehand <laughs> so I could like try to remember how to do everything so I think I mostly just get confused on like when do I infer and when do I analyze but when do I inspect <laughs> so they all sound so similar <laughs> but uh yeah let's go ahead and start I guess oh uh, yeah and I, I did put mystic in the thumbnail I felt I felt like he deserved it you know what I mean and then I was like <sighs> I, I like said last stream I would stop doing that and stop putting dead people in the thumbnails right after they die, but he deserved it, guys. He deserved to get his moment to, sh to shine, the best dad. Man, I feel so bad for Bookworm. Hopefully, hopefully she'll be okay. Uh, hopefully she'll be okay. I guess we'll see. After announcing Mystic's death to the others via D-pad, we begin our investigation in earnest. The cause of death was... <laughs> Some contusion of the octopus shit. Exsanguination. Yes, of course. The ex The exsanguation. Unable to escape the trap, his entire body was skewered, killing him almost instantly. But Mystic should have known how to deal with this trap. Why wasn't he able to get to safety? Oh, a look at the security camera should be enough to answer that one. Yeah, didn't he seem like he was like drugged or something or I don't know he like passed out something like that renegade operates the tablet used for the cameras which he had brought from the living room and replays the moments right before mystic's death yeah yeah he did seem like he was poisoned or something there was like something up with like the flowers or something like beforehand I can't remember exactly my memory's so shit but there, there was some kind of like poison with the flowers that I think sniffy whiffy <laughs> detected <laughs> something like that you can clearly tell he was poisoned by something. He couldn't stand and was struggling to breathe, suggesting some sort of neurotoxin. But when and where could something like that have been administered to him? Um, don't ask me. His body's got so many holes. <laughs> he may as well be Swiss cheese at this point. Oh, get it, Gourmet! You love food. You get it. You get it. Oh, Jesus. What is that? <laughs> I heard you liked Mitch. Where did you hear that from? Who who lied to you? So I had to come quickly. Jesus Christ, what is that thing? Mitch made kitten. <laughs> that's awful. I thought you were Dara for a second, but no, it's a, it's a first super chat. Unless you're like Dara's alt or something. <laughs> but thank you for the donation. Um, but maybe, you know, maybe it's time to rebrand. Maybe it's time to rebrand your profile picture and your username. Maybe. <laughs> Just think about it. Thank you, Wingman Clan. Love your videos. Keep up the good t content. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thanks for the donation. Also, I love your dog. They're really cute. <laughs> en enough with the tasteless jokes, Renegade. My bad, my bad. Don't get your panties in a twist. I'm not trying to make a joke out of this. With this much blood and so many puncture wounds, it'd take one hell of a doctor to figure out how he was poisoned in the first place. Okay, so that's like a good way to kind of like, um, you know, cover up how he was poisoned in the first place. I feel like it probably was the plants, though. I don't know. I guess we'll see. The perp likely planned the crime with that in mind, just like with Senior Detective. This homicide was not only cruel, but cunning. I guess we'll see if it's the same person. I assume so. It was like, man, I want to... I hope we figure out who did it. Like, I, I don't know. That's the one thing I miss about Dog and Rapa in this game so far. It's like, I want the drama. I want to find out who the culprit is during the trial. You're certainly enjoying yourself. Are you sure you aren't the culprit? 
Aw, oh, give me a break. I'm a detective, too. When there's a mystery to solve, my engine gets revving. It's part of my nature, really. How dare you disrespect Sniffy Whiffy by shipping Mitch with him. Disgusting. Disgusting. Sniffy Whiffy deserves your respect and admiration. When... Even when your own comrade is the victim. <laughs> I don't know him. Uh -huh, don't project your morals onto me. In my world, there's two types of people. Me and everyone else. Tisk tisk, boys always trying to pick a fight. I've had it up to here. Gourmet watches herself in between workaholic and renegade, ending their argument by force. <laughs> Come on, let's share the autopsy report with everyone. Then we need to check the security camera recordings. Right, sorry, my emotions got the better of me there. Despite his clear annoyance, workaholic backs down. What's with them? Day by day, I'm sensing some serious tension between Workaholic and Renegade. What could have happened between those two? They got like a fight or something like the first day with investigating. I mean, granted, Renegade's like... <laughs> I can see why anybody wouldn't get along with him. I assure you, I had no hand in this. Pasha's voice sounds out from the hallway. Oh yeah, because she was with him like right beforehand. For some reason, downtown and the others are gathered around Posh, whose face is bright red as she shouts accusing a blue-blooded lady such as myself you plebeums have overstepped your bounds continue and i shall take this matter to court and we're kind of locked up here so we're not gonna be able to go to court anytime soon bestie i hate to let you i hate to be the one to tell you that let me uh, get this situated to do like, oh my god, we're not accusing you, girl. We just want to know why you rushed out in a panic after Mystic collapsed. I already told you I had no particular reason for doing so. Okay, sus. This discussion's over. I mean, I just assumed he told her to get out. Look, we're only grilling you so we can clear your name, Capiche. You're with old man Mystic right before he died. Sounds awful fishy. Even a brickhead like me. Yeah, what Roddy said. Me, Techie, and Workaholic, we're in the trap room a while ago, too, so we're all in the same boat here. Let's just take a chill pill and talk this out, okay? We mean only to aid you, Lady Paws. You're totally accusing me, though. Ah! I respectfully decline. Noble Pinkerton blood flows through my veins. I shall chart my own course out of this chaos. Now, good day to you. Good day to you, so. Wait, Posh. Posh ignores us and marches off. Sorry, guys. I probably should have been nicer about it. I mean, I don't think Posh did it. I feel like he just told her to leave because he was the dad, you know. He just, you know, he was always putting everybody before himself. He was just like, you know, he knew what was coming because he had already been in the room when the trap went off. So I just assume he told her to leave. I don't know why she's being weird about it, though. I know helping it. I don't think she's... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm just going to reload the save file. No, damn it. Oh, god dang it, dude. You know, the one thing I don't like about this game is the fast forward so fucking fast. Okay, we're just going to click through because that looked like it. That looked like it was a whole chapter that I skipped through. Oh my god, I swear. It's like you tap the fast forward button and it's like you're already at the next chapter. <laughs> like, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I was like, should I try to fast forward for a little bit? Maybe it just looks like a lot. Okay, there we go. Okay. Let's try to do a little bit longer. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> I feel like it might look like more time passes than other times, but it's like I click it and then it just like, I get scared and I'm like, oh shit, oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Posh ignores us and marches off. Oh, I think you can select an option to not skip text. If you haven't read it before. Oh my god, let me do that. Okay, yeah, let's... Oh, thank god. Thank you, thank you, thank god. I'm <laughs> so sick of that button accidentally hitting it. Uh, sorry, guys, I probably should have been nicer about it. I know I opened it. I don't think she's gonna budge on this one. She's not, huh? Posh is extremely proud of her lineage. I wonder if her family has something to do with how strongly she's reacting. Give her space. I'm certain that certain that Posh, in her own way, is also quite distraught by the loss of Mystic. After all, had she stayed in that room just a touch longer, there was a chance she could have saved him. That's another point to consider. Even so, continuing her investigation in that state seems rash and counterproductive. 
I wish there was some way to help her. I guess maybe it's like because she blames herself. She doesn't want to talk about it or something. I don't know. Some can be helped while others cannot. That's part and parcel of working in an organization. I see. Everyone is coping with the loss of Mystic differently. Some even manage to remain unaffected like Renegade. <laughs> I mean, he has, <laughs> he has no empathy whatsoever. Oh, right. Bookworm was especially close to Mystic. Where is she now? Um, she like straight up fainted when she heard the news. So I carried her, carried her back to her room. Ah, poor bookworm. There is no way we can let her see the body. That girl better not wake up until we get this thing solved. Oh man, I hope she's okay. Oh God, it'd be really fucked up if she did it somehow. I'm like always just thinking about like who's the most, who's the most unlikely, who's the saddest, the saddest potential culprit. <laughs> But uh, I don't think that would make any sense at all. Oh, thank you, Malia. Hey, happy birthday, Grandmon <laughs> Weaves. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. I like your icon, too. It looks really pretty. Like a, uh, I think that's a character from um, Demon Slayer, right? But uh, thank you. Appreciate you for the dono. Thanks, Downtown. You're probably right. With her photographing memory and the gruesome state of Mystic's body, it'd be too much. Yeah. An image of Mystic enjoying dinner with Bookworm flashes in my mind and my chest suddenly aches. Bookworm already lost her parents to a murder case. To have her family taken away from her twice, I can't begin to imagine her sorrow. I think there was cases in Danganronpa where, like, you know, a character accidentally killed them and they, like, freaked out. Like, they were close with the person and they, like, accidentally killed them or they thought they accidentally killed them and that was why they, like, passed out right when they heard about their death. Like, I guess it could be. It's probably not something like that, but just something that, you know, I was thinking of. To think of sad possibilities. We have to get to the bottom of this for her sake as well. Downtown, can you lend me a hand? I'll need your help if we're going to solve this. <laughs> wow, somebody's hyped for this. Sure, I'll pitch in however you need. Oh my god, you'd be my bestie for this? But for now, let's go to the living room and check out this camera with everybody else. We might find like a clue or something. I don't know. I do as downtown suggests and head to the first floor with the other detectives. Oh, my little brain flash again. Suddenly sparks flash across my field of view. Ugh. Everyone's corpses are suddenly before me. I thought we already changed this. I thought we changed the past already because we figured out the poison or something. I guess not. The very same tragedy I saw in my dream. But the dead bodies, the stiffening flesh at my feet... The putrid smell of death. It all seems so much closer to reality than ever. Why is Mystic there? They just decided to throw his body there too. I can see the traje trajectory of this impending doom much more clearly now. In other words, this outcome still hasn't been avoided. If anything, this is evidence that it's getting closer to occurring. Downtown's face, so joyful mere moments ago, is now bone chillingly a bone-chilling death mask. Okay, I guess it makes sense. So this is something that's supposed to happen like literally this chapter since we're like working closely with her and stuff too it kind of seems like i want to believe this is a lie a delusion but mystic has been murdered the duke really is inside the manor and he intends to kill all of us my pulse quickens it's pounding so hard it hurts if we don't unravel this case and find that hidden passageway soon uh you get dude why'd you stop all of a sudden something wrong oh i'm um, sorry it's it's nothing, really. I know. I wish Mystic would come back as a ghost, too. It's like, come on. Can we trade? <laughs> it's like, okay, ideal's fine, too, I guess. But I, I want dad. I want dad. I want ghost dad. My mind snaps back to reality. I smile back at downtown. As she looks at me with concern, her eyes narrowing in suspicion. Plus, ideal's a little sus. I don't, I don't really think she's sus anymore because she's, like, a ghost now. And it's like, what would be the point of her working with the quartering duke? But I thought she was sus beforehand. If fishy, my fashionista senses are telling me you're hiding something. Oh god, not the fashionista. She's sharp. Those fashionista senses are no joke. There's no way I can tell her. You're all gonna die, though, so I just try to keep on smiling. It's like, that smile is fucking creepy, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing great. It's like that, uh, that one meme, like the Herald meme where he's, like, smiling through the pain. Look, I won't push you if you don't want to share, but try not to bottle it up too much, okay? Like, it's all chill, so don't worry. You've grown a ton over these past few days. I I you think so? <clears throat> uh-huh. When you saw your first corpse, you were, like, super pale, but just now you were giving orders. Like, it was your job. I know I named you incompetent, but keep this up, and we'll be taking those first two letters off in no time. Oh, that's cute. 
Yeah, I'll I'll try my best. I came downtown a week, grin and keep walking. My head throbs after seeing the Denouement's vision, but I can't let that get to me. If things don't change, there will be no avoiding what's to come. I'm certain you've realized this, but the tragedy you just saw was no delusion. It was a glimpse of the not-so-distant future. You're the only living soul who knows. In order to prevent it, you must solve the case by your hand. Right. <laughs> no pressure or anything. I won't let it happen. Downtown praised my progress, but every bit of it is thanks to Holmes being at my side. What little ability I have is reliant on her. But if it'll solve this case, I'll play the role of the leader and guide these detectives. I must. <laughs> I must use her girl bossiness. This is, after all, my duty as the one who inherited Holmes's power. You know, I was thinking, too, I was like, okay, like, <laughs> there's, like, the idea of, um, you know, if we do find a culprit among us, what would we do? Because, you know, there's no, like, Monokuma to execute them. Will we just, like, push them outside where the target dog is? <laughs> pull, pull, like, a cooking companion. <laughs> You've been evicted from the lodge. Get out. Get out and let the target dog take care of you. Everyone aside from Posh and Bookworm has gathered in the living room. We set the tablet on the table and play the recording from the security camera. Oh. He looks fucked up right there, dude. We're all like, oh, I've seen some shit. This is when Techie was explaining the poison flower bait. Oh, this is when Techie was explaining the poison flower bases to me. Oh, thank you so much, Bridget. <laughs> Big chunk of weedy McDonald's. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Man, now I want McDonald's again. You're gonna get me fat, Bridget. <laughs> yeah, I was getting a glass of water from the dining room when I thought to analyze the water in the vases on a whim. As soon as I detected the poison, I immediately got in touch with workaholic. Did you um did you see anyone else besides yourselves? Uh, nope, not in particular. Neither of, neither of us realized that Rowdy was nearby, eavesdropping on us. The sussy baka. Okay, 8 o'clock. They're all the hubbub from, there's all the hubbub from this morning. Oh yeah, when they were like, We gotta sacrifice ourselves, yeehaw, for reasons. Dang, I can like hear the yelling in my head, even without the sound. Good thing these cameras don't pick up any of that. With this again, I am most ashamed. Oh, armor. You've been plenty sorry already, pal. Enough's enough. I must commit seppuku in my shame. Can you stop for two seconds? Nine o'clock. You're really knocked out there, incompetent. Look, you're not even moving. After after stopping Roddy and armor, I felt sick all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. He's gonna watch me vomit on camera. That confirms Incompetent was sleeping in his room right up until the incident. I think we can clear him as a suspect. Yay! For once! At that time, we were enjoying the breakfast Mystic had prepared. We were all there until about 10 o'clock, aside from Incompetent. 10 o'clock. Around 10, I left the dining room with Renegade to check out the trap room. Now there's an odd pair. What were you two investigating? The room's dimensions, you know how the trap room is directly above the living room? We were checking to see if the lengths and widths and such were the same between rooms. Don't forget the gaps in the floorboards. Now, what we discovered is that every measurement is identical, even the heights of the ceilings. Okay, interesting. Does that mean... Huh. Well, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really mean anything, but it's like... It's kind of interesting it has the same exact measurements, even the ceilings. Kind of makes me wonder if there would be like a trap, like the same trap there or something. They are indeed the same location on the floor plan. Could we not already assume this? In a normal house, sure, but the staircase here is pretty long, isn't it? Given that, I'd think the first floor ceiling would be higher. We can assume the stairs compensate for this discrepancy. In short, it stands to reason that there's a gap between the two floors. Okay, that's what they're trying to establish. You think that space could be for, like, those spikes that shoot on the floor? Is it? They're pretty long, so they need to be hidden somewhere. I see. So the spikes are normally retracted into the extra space between the two floors and pop out when the trap is activated. From a design perspective, the whole point of that room was to be a trap. Whoever made this and rigged up the chandelier really is twisted. 12 o'clock. Still in there. And Doleful's here now. As the recording as the recording shows, we swapped places with Doleful and left the trap room at around noon. 
After that, I moseyed over to the study and thumbled through files the whole time until the murder. Check the cameras and you'll see I'm clear, bitches. Stop trying to accuse me just because I'm a murderer. What were you doing there, Doleful? Well, I was thinking in the dining room, and I got curious about the construction of the doors, so I went to investigate myself. Was there something strange about them? Yeah, well, it's very subtle. The doors in this manor have a different design on each floor. Doors in identical guest rooms differ in material and size between floors, whereas truly distinct rooms on the same floor have matching doors. That does seem intentional. Okay, wait. Doors. Oh my gosh. Doors in identical guest rooms differ in material and size between floors, whereas totally distinct rooms on the same floor as matching doors. Can I listen to up? I think they kind of mentioned the doors beforehand too, right? That does seem intentional. It's not a rule for every door to be the same, but if the ones on the first floor are distinct from the second, that's worth keeping in mind. After investigating for about half an hour, I went back to look at each guest room door. That's where I was until the murder. You can check the footage. <laughs> I'm clear too, bitches. True, you were in one of the guest rooms when it happened. Erwin and I both saw you on camera. I mean, like, okay, so, like, I get where, you know, Doleful and, like, Renegade are coming from. But at the same time, I don't feel like you really have to, I don't know. Well, I guess as long as you're, like, kind of cleared of suspicion before it happens, then you're good. But <sighs> I'm trying to think. Because, like, I guess the main thing that would, like, try to get you, like, accused of being the culprit would be if you set up the trap beforehand to unintentionally kill him. Or, I guess, if you did it right in the moment, if there's, like, a, you know, a switch you can flip or something that, like, will shoot the spikes up automatically. But I assume it was mostly just, you know, cutting the trap or whatever. I guess if you can enter the crawl space where the spikes are, that would probably be where you could, like, cut the, you know, move the block or whatever that was there. But, I don't know, I'm just, I'm overthinking. Thank you, Dragon Nugget. Wasn't here the last stream, but this game really interested me lately. Especially watching them, watching when I watching when I watch your streams. Anyway, I'm donating six bucks now. <laughs> Thank you so much, Drago. Appreciate you. Glad you've been interested in this game too. It's been really enjoyable so far. 12.30. I was talking with Mystic and Bookworm in the dining room regarding the structure of the manor. Then, as you can see, we went to the trap room. We had more or less checked all the other rooms by then, so if any devices or mechanisms were left to be found, we figured they would be there. Did you end up finding anything? Well, we confirmed that the trap was the only mechanism. The room's layout doesn't account for a concealed door. Only the spikes below. Oh, so sad, dude. This was like their last time being together, Bookworm and Mystic. I'm so sad. Bookworm and I were off... Bookworm and I felt we were off the mark and went downstairs, while Mystic kept examining the ground. Perhaps he was closing in on the hidden passage. Okay, 1.30. I went to the trap room again, taking the place of workaholic and bookworm. Jesus Christ, we were all in and out of the trap room today, weren't we? Besides me, I guess. Poshing downtown, pushed my wheelchair so I could make it to the second floor more easily. Ah, oh, thanks for the help, you two. Aw, oh, sweet. Wholesome. Hey, we can just leave our little buddy hanging. <laughs> That's true, he is a little buddy. What were you three investigating there? Well, like Doleful, I also noticed the doors felt somehow off. I was just keeping techie company. Not a super chatty vibe, though, so I didn't contribute, like, at all. Oh, and from what I remember, Posh was doing something in there, too. She was, like, hella curious about the vase in the corner. Yeah, it's probably where the poison thing was or something. Two o'clock. This is when armor woke me up. All right, this one Mystic was like, I do believe I've solved the mystery of the hidden passage. Of course he died right after that. I was so stoked. I just had to hug him. Oh, that's so cute. Be gone. <laughs> His little pose. No hugs. How utterly obscene or whatever. but he got all huffy about it. <laughs> she seems pretty happy herself though. Yeah, she was doing her usual laugh, you know that. Oh, junk. It totally cracks me up. The camera show Mystic speaking excitedly. Even without sound, I can sense his congeniality. No one could have expected a murder was about to occur. <laughs> She's got a little kitty mouth, too. <laughs> Cute. Dang, this is a way different now. Like, if I stayed, maybe I could have saved him. 
I felt more at ease after what Mystic told us, so I stopped investigating. If only I had noticed the anomalies in the room. You let your guard down. There's no helping that. I mean, nothing seems out of place. Just looking at the feed here. Okay, 2.30. This is the moment Armor and I saw earlier. Man, you guys sussing downtown? I see people sussing her in chat. My girl would never. She would never. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. She is getting a lot of screen time, though, so I guess I can kind of see it uh, being her this time. This is the moment Armor and I saw earlier. This is also when Mystic contacted us. Posh begins acting oddly, then rushes out of the trap room. Yeah, there's no way it's Posh. She'd be way too obvious. Mystic is left by himself, barely moving to the point where it seemed peculi peculiar. I guess... Huh, I'm trying to think. It kind of did seem like... I thought he told her to leave the room, but it kind of did seem more like she just noticed something and left. Girl, why'd you tell him anything? Why keep that to yourself? He then falls to his knees, disappearing from the camera's line of sight. She was the one investigating the vases, too, beforehand. I guess she could have just, like, freaked out and forgot to tell him. I mean, that seems like a pretty big thing to forget about, though. After the door seems to close on its own and the camera's cut out, judging from the broken camera lying on the ground, the spikes must have hit it when they shot out. And that's the end of the security feed leading up to the incident. As we thought, nothing that would point us towards the culprit was caught on film. To summarize this feed in everybody's commentary, at 2.30, when Mystic's demeanor began to change, Posh was the only other one in the room. Yeah. Downtown was there right up until that point. <laughs> that does kind of make her seem size, damn it. But left to me with incompetent. Techie had gone to get a drink, then relocated to the living room. He went to get a drink? They said it was right below the dining room, though, right? So I feel like... Potentially anybody who was in the dining room right then could be suspicious too, so maybe Techie as well? I bumped into Techie while checking out the fridge in the dining room. We left for the living room together after that. Workaholic and Bookworm showed up after us. Come to think of it, on the way over, I sensed someone coming down the stairs. Must have, must have been them too. Bookworm and I had investigated the study for a good hour before the incident. We should be able to confirm each other's alibis. I don't know, man. I feel like with this, like, trap shit, you could just, like, kind of wander off for, like, a half a second and, like, set it off. You know, or, like, set it up. Especially if you're, like, the quartering duke and you, like, rig this whole place to, like, murder, you know, our asses. Like, <laughs> I feel like it's probably not that hard. Like, the chandelier thing was just, like, a switch to the side. So, like, I kind of feel like it could have been, you know, something similar to that. I don't know. I don't know if I really think, like, any of these people have, like, super strong alibis right now. But that's just me. That's just a theory. A game theory. Oh, thank you, Ari. I'm late, but anyways, it's my birthday. And it means the world to me to share it with you, Weeby. Oh, that's so sweet. Happy birthday. I hope you have a great day. That's awesome. It's my, um, what is it? 89th birthday, too. Isn't that crazy? That's so crazy. We share a birthday. Thank you, Keiko Kev. Happy birthday. Oh, my God. Thank you, Kev. <laughs> thank you, Kev and Weenie. The shout out from Weenie, too. We love to see it. I miss her. <laughs> I miss her. Whatever happened to Weenie News? God, she was so beautiful. Too too young, too good for this world. <laughs> Thank you, Kev. Uh, same for being gourmet here. The two of us stuck together the whole time. I don't trust any of y'all mofos. We were examining the rec room from about 1 o'clock until the murder. You'll be able to see us clearly on the recording. I was alone in the guest rooms the entire time, but the camera should show me too. Right, like I said, Armor and I were watching you investigate through the surveillance feed, Doleful. I kind of wonder, because there's like cameras in all the rooms, but there's got to be like blind spots in the, you know, for the cameras, you know what I mean? Oh, thank you, Big Chunk of Weenie McDonald's. <laughs> thank you so much for the, uh, for the birthday cake. Ah, oh, thank you on this most beautiful 89th birthday. I appreciate it so much. You know, even my old age, I can still, I can still enjoy anime. <laughs> Oh, man. Which means the only individual without an alibi would be Posh. Though I suspect she's liable to blow her top again if we say as much. Yeah. We probably shouldn't tell her while she's in such a fragile emotional state. Best to stay quiet until we've gathered definitive evidence. Even so, all of us have an alibi aside from her. This case only gets stranger and stranger. Most everyone can account for where they were. How odd. 
Oh, I feel you. We may have these cameras, but there's none in the halls. And they have no small number of blind spots. Yeah. With everyone's alibis checking out so neatly, I can only wonder if this was all deliberate. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Like, especially when it's like, okay, literally everybody's cleared besides Posh. That seems like, seems like somebody's trying to set something up. Whatever do you mean, Sir Renegade? Prithee, speak plainly for those of us less intellectually inclined for the himbos. Uh, in other words, there's a reason to believe our phantom killer used those blind spots to their very nasty scheme. Yeah, exactly. Those cameras were meant to be a deterrent, yet ended up being the key to this crime. Ironic, no. Are you okay with that tech? Does it pain you? Oh, it's almost like you did this murder. Oh, do you feel guilty? It's, it's all because I made those cameras. Renegade slowly saunters towards Techie. His face is full of malice. It's hard to believe he's truly a detective committed to justice. Yeah, I don't think he is. Uh huh, the Cobra was able to off Mystic without revealing themselves. So all thanks to. <laughs> he's such a douche. All thanks to you and your little inventions. Oh, I mean, your little dear friends. I think we should execute Sniffy Whiffy for this one. You've got talent. A mystic detective died because of it. So now, for his sake, you've got to work harder and harder and harder. <laughs> Such a freaking douche. Rene Renegade, cut it out. Don't go busting my little buddy's chops, you damn clown. I like how they all refer to Techie as little buddy. He does give those vibes. He's just, he's just a little guy. Rowdy and I step in to confront Renegade. It's not your fault, Techie. Don't listen to what Renegade's saying. Damn straight, we all know you're a stand-up guy. We're gonna work together and give that invisible bastard what's for. You guys, poor Techie, he's just trying to he's just trying to help, man, with his little invention, his little friends. Tears well up in Techie's eyes. He wipes his tears with the sleeve of his coat, puts on a dignified expression, begins moving towards the living room. Oh yeah, on the website for this game, they have like a personality test thing. I got Techie! I was like, honestly, that is me, because if I if I was a genius and I made robots, I would totally give them really adorable names like him. I'd be like, Sniffy Whiffy. <laughs> the wool guy. Thanks, I appreciate it. But the fact is, the cameras I made caused this to happen. It's my responsibility to catch Mystic's killer. And I swear I'll do it. I'll meet you all back here once the case is solved. <laughs> with that, Techie exits the room. As worried as I am, he's overflowing with determination. It wouldn't be in my place to stop him. I feel like... I feel like Techie's pretty high up on my favorite characters list. He's just so adorable, man. Him and his little robots. I love him. What's gonna say too? I feel like him and Renegade, but for like totally different, totally different reasons. Oh, things sure are getting interesting. What are you all so giddy for, you damn jerk? Pull that shit again, you're getting a knuckle sandwich. Why'd you say all that to Techie? There's nothing for you to gain by hurting him. Um, for drama, of course. Hurting him, I've done nothing of the sort. If anything, Tech is benefiting from this. Uh, what? Oh yeah, armor too though. Damn it, I love armor. My himbo, my beautiful himbo. I love him so much. I feel like I like all the characters in this game so far. They're all pretty good. Thanks to me, we've realized his creations can get others killed. This lesson will help him blossom into an even more brilliant detective than before. Oh God, he really is on some Kamida bullshit. <laughs> Oh, I can just feel the hope inside him budding. Detectives above all ought to experience how heavy life can be. You, me, all of us. Let's keep carrying the weight of this thing we call it living. Oh, I'm gonna traumatize all of you. But it's for hope, bitches. Okay, I think I get it now. You're a psycho bitch. All I gotta do is beat you half to death, and then you'll really appreciate living. <laughs> no, let her do it. Come on. Let her cook. All right, time out. Fighting among friends is a big no-no. Who -no. said we're friends? Let's be nice, everyone. <laughs> Gourmet stops Rowdy as she prepares to lunge at Renegade. There's no mistake, Rowdy's out for blood. It's a good thing Gourmet is here. Let me go, sis. My gut tells me that letting this chump off the hook's gonna bite us in the ass. Oh, definitely for sure. <laughs> for sure. He's gonna try to blow up the island or some shit later. And make waste of your precious fighting abilities. Right now, we need to work together to find Mystic's killer. Besides, Renegade does raise a valid point. Well-intentioned acts offer ill-intentioned people all too many openings. 
Brilliant as always, Gourmet. Ah, oh, thank you for standing me. You sum my point up. Oh, so succulent, su succulently. You want to work on your phrasing. No matter how nutritious the dish, no one is willing to eat something that looks unappetizing. Don't forget appearances always matter. That goes for food and words alike. Uh, apologies. I'll take that to heart. Renegade hums to himself as he exits the room. <laughs> oh la la, I got offended. I am positive that didn't really resonate with him. <laughs> He's just as much of a douche as ever. Sorry, sis. He may be a big jerk, but you're right. Right now, we ought to catch that slippery culprit of ours. Time to switch gears and get investigating. Ah, uh, that's the spirit. Our invisible killer is quite, is clearly quite the clever fox. We're going to need to pull out the stops. Having said her piece, Gourmet leaves the room with a rowdy in tow. So, workaholic is Renegade really not involved in this case? It's a god I wish. I want to sacrifice him to the target dog. More than anybody. I couldn't say. Most everyone has an alibi. So I'm not entirely sure what to make of this. Nevertheless, I'm curious about the hidden passage a mystic claimed to have found. Considering the timing of it all, the crime was likely committed to prevent us from discovering it. Which means the culprit intends to keep us trapped. Intends to keep us trapped in the manor. Well, the crime was likely committed to prevent us from discovering it, which means the culprit. Yeah. Seeing as they ransacked the fridge, maybe they plan to starve us. Ah, but then again, right? The timing would be off. They would have had ample time to dispose of our food supply while killing senior detective. The killer hadn't troubled us much to the point where it's been concerning. Why empty the fridge now when there is the still hidden passage? I'm like, I don't know if it's just because like I want like it's just because I want like um I want there to be another killer besides just the quartering duke. I'm like, what if one of us is just like fucking around, you know? Like because I don't really think the quartering duke would have a reason for wanting to get rid of um, you know, whatchamacallit, um, like the food. Oh, thank you so much. Brilliant as a singer. Hey, Weeby, I know you probably won't see this, but I wanted to let you know your stream cheered me up today. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm really glad I was able to cheer you up some. That's so sweet. But um, what was I thinking? I kind of zoned out because I was looking at the chat. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Whatever I just said, that thing. The killer hadn't troubled us much. The point where it's been concerning. Why into the fridge now? Okay, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. I think maybe, maybe there's somebody else besides the quartering duke who's just like... They just want to, like, you know, <laughs> they just want to mess with us. Because I don't really know if I totally see the quartering duke emptying the fridge now. I don't know if I would really see the point of that. Honestly, what I kind of want in this game, I want the quartering duke to have, like, his, like, knights or something, you know? Like, I want there to be, like, a void kind of thing going on in here. Like, I want there to be, like, multiple people that are, like, working with the quartering duke. And we got to, like, expose them each trial. I just want a culprit, man. I want to sacrifice somebody to the target dog, Okay. I want blood. I want pink blood or red blood. I'll take whatever I can get. Did you not see my super chat? Did you send me a super chat? Wait, let me check. Let me check. Did I not see it, Bridget? Let's do. Let's do. That's not showing up. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I don't know why I didn't see it. Thank you, big chunk of Weeby McDonald's ex Burger King fanfics. I'm so mad at myself for missing the last stream. I missed I missed Phoenix, and it was my time. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm glad you're able to uh, glad you're able to check out this stream. Oh man, thank you. Appreciate it. Sorry that I missed your uh, that I missed it before. I don't know why uh, I didn't see it. I guess I just got a little too distracted trying to use my brain. Mystics, let me let me make sure I didn't miss anything else. Hopefully not. Do, do, do. Okay, now yeah, I think I'm good. That's good. Yeah, just remind me in chat if I ever miss anything. Sorry about that. Mystics murder isn't the only mystery we need to solve. Now more than ever, we of the DA must work together. How about all three of us join forces and investigate together? I'm sure the others would pitch in and help if we do. You'll be fine on your own. Huh? Oh, yeah, actually, it's the quartering duck. Remember, Weeby? <laughs> Sorry, how can I forget? <laughs> huh? Apologies, but I prefer to look into things on my own right now. If everyone has an alibi, then none of us can be cleared of suspicion. I like to avoid walking blindly into a trap, if at all possible. Ah, that makes sense. Dolphal, what about you? 
I'm gonna take a look at those guest rooms again. I'm sure they're the key to solving this puzzle. If I'd only found the passage sooner, maybe Mystic would have been targeted. Cracking this case is my responsibility, too. If I come across anything, I'll let you know on my D-pad right away. You two stay safe out there. We don't know where the enemy could be lurking. Don't fall and workaholic exit the room. I would have liked to investigate with them, but when all of this are when all of us are suspects, I can't push them into it. Only three of us remain in the room, downtown armor and myself. All of us are suspects, except for me, because I was taking a little nappy nap. The leftover trio is back at it again, huh? Ah, uh, yay, it's us, the besties. Sir and competent, your words ring true. Joining our efforts is paramount. By all means, do not hesitate to entreat my aid during your quest. Oh my god, I love I love our little trio. So you're like relying on others to get stuff done. To be fair, I'm useless on my own too, so I was totally banking on some direction. Anyways, how are you going to approach this case, incompetent? It's not like we know up from down, so just tell us how we can help. Oh, um, crap, my mind's drawing a blank. There's still a ton of things to consider, but I have no clue where to even start. I'm racking my brain, but nothing's coming together. At ease, Watto. If you let your confusion show, it will only cause them to feel uncertain as well. Holmes appears at my side, smiling gently. As you are aware, this case is full of riddles. I'm afraid that fumbling through this won't get you much of anywhere. Instead, you must sort through the points of this mystery. That bear investigating. Try articulating what aspects you believe are crucial to the case. Let me save. I feel like I'm about to do the little, like, chart thing. 29. Right, with this many loose ends, the first step is to sort out our priorities. Encouraged by Holmes, I turn to face the others. Ready to touch the key points of this murder. Music change. As it stands, this case has three aspects we have to solve. The first of which is the chandelier trap. <laughs> the chandelier trap. The door that opens on its own. The door that closed on its own. Closed on its own? Da, 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 da. The door that closed on its own. Almost like a phantom had done it. We need to figure out how the culprit managed to accomplish this. <laughs> Gotta do what I mentioned the chandelier. She's like, um, that was kind of the last case, bestie. But good try. I guess you're gonna keep that name, huh? The second aspect is the location of the hidden passage. Existence, the cause of Mystic's death. I feel like the hidden passage? Wait, no. We already know the location and the existence. Cause? We already kind of know the cause. Well, we kind of know the cause of his death already, too. Look at, oh, no, no, wait, no. No, we know where the, the spikes were. We're not the hidden passage to the spikes, right? Where the hidden passage is. Actually, is this gonna like decide if I get a bad ending or not? <laughs> I was like, I kind of was expecting it to just say like, eh, if I got it wrong, but maybe this is how we get the bad ending now that I think about it. Uh-oh, rut row. Where the hidden passage is. Mystic was likely killed because he discovered the trick behind it. Whatever he learned will be a vital clue, I bet. And the final aspect is, oh God, I feel like, the placement, how the neurotoxin was administered, how the neurotoxin was made, how it was administered, I think. I was like, oh god, I'm gonna kill us all if I don't select the right thing. Can I? Okay, I can save here too. Oh, well, I've already been doing it. Okay. How the neurotoxin was administered, placement of the poison base, how it was made. I think the bottom or the top one? Well, Posh was already looking at the poison vase. I assume that, you know, that was the one that, you know, that was the placement of it. Let's just see how it was administered. Method of administering the neurotoxin on Mystic. We need to find out how he was poisoned, despite being in the view of the camera. Let's check the camera feed once mo one more time and get to the bottom of these three riddles. I just know that this recording is our ticket to solving this. <laughs> We're all gonna die. <laughs> Thank you, Downtown. I concur. What's wrong, guys? You're both staring. And now it's just you kind of sounded like ideal there for a sec. Verily, you were the spitting image of our esteemed chief. Woe that the others were not here to see just how symbolable it was. Symbolable. You're just saying that. I'm taken aback by their comments, but I suppose their impressions are correct. Giving that I'm following Holmes' direction. Oh, thank you so much, Dust Parta. Hey, I'm late. We'll be watching, but from the beginning. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoy, uh, hope you enjoy watching it from the beginning. 
Eh, come on, Incompetent. I trust you on this. Just let me know how I can help. Once again, I am resolved that I should trust your instincts over my own. Sir Incompetent, all of my might is yours to command. Sirrah! Oh, I love you, Armor. You're so, you're so stupid. I love it. Thank you, both of you. My chest tightens as I meet their hopeful gazes. I feel bad imitating Holmes, but if we can plan on catching Mystic's killer, I can't stop now. I've got to live up to their ex expectations and give solid direction. Your self-confidence is still lacking, but you did a fine job encapsulating everything just now. Look alive, Watto. This is your moment to shine. Give your orders to the det these detectives, just as I showed you on your first day here. Oh god, here we go. Okay. Be aware that you should not intervene. The events shown by the denouement will not be averted. Uh, that that should you not intervene, the shown the event shown the denouement will not be averted. Understood. Here we go, Holmes. I reply to Holmes in my head, then take one deep breath after another. This case, while caught on camera, is twisted. Is twisted as it is at complex. Only Posh lacks an alibi. And with each of us as a suspect, our teamwork is compromised. But there's no helping it. Only I'm aware of the future tragedy that could unfold. The only way to stop this is to change the course of events. It's up to me. Let's reverse this tragedy. Okay, let's try this. I'm so glad I took notes and screenshots to try to remember this. The second floor of the manor can now be explored. Okay, cool. The manor's second floor can now be accessed. Press X to move between floors. Oh, I can do both floors? Oh, Jesus. I guess that makes sense. Press L and R to display the detective overview. This allows you to highlight any detective of any floor. The manor is second floor. Press X to move between floors. L and R display the detective overview. This allows you to highlight any detectives on any floor. Okay, I guess it just kind of makes it quicker. Nine hours remain. I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there's like a little red point there. Oh, there's a mystery point there too. What was the thing? <sighs> Like one of the, oh wait, I can't move y'all? Okay, y'all just wanna be little bitches. Okay, fine, it's whatever. So whatever, I guess I can only move us. That sucks. Okay, am I able to, I think I have to move closer, right? I think there was like, assisting was better than not assisting, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? And what was the thing, there was like, is it like analyzation or inspection that, okay. This inspection sucks. Cause there was like the MP if you like combined it. I think it was like, you know, like some of the mystery points were like locked out by a stat. It's like, what stat was it? I think um, analyze, analyzation was the one for um, the, the other things. <laughs> analyzation was for analyze, duh. Um, I guess what inference, I guess inference maybe? Uh, oh yeah, I guess assistance. Okay, so. And confidence is really good at that assistance. So that makes sense. Oh wait, let me do that. Then Renegade. Wait. Uh, downtown. What's hers? Oh damn, her assistance is amazing. Inference kind of sucks though too. So that's not good. What about you? Um, wait. How do I get to armor? Okay, there he is. <laughs> All of our inference sucks. <laughs> Okay, inspection three, inspection two, whatever. I guess we just need to probably like, I don't know, man. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. Um, Actually, were they all like already? Okay, no, he has to move first and then assist. Okay, right, and then you infer the mystery point. Okay, and then you assist, right? Will that be enough? Will that be enough? Wait. Okay. I think that's good. I think so? Is that good? <laughs> Is that good? Oh, God. <laughs> we all kind of suck. I just can't remember exactly what that, um... I was like, what is good at assistance? I was like... I was like, I just can't really, uh, Watu Inference, Downtown, and Armor Assist. Yeah, I guess so. 
I guess it might be best just to do that. I was like not sure if I should have her go do the red point though or not. Okay, whatever. I'll just have you assist too. Oh wait, no, she can't. She can't assist. Can she infer too then? Maybe. Damn it! Should I not have moved her? Ah, damn. I think I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Okay, whatever. You just infer too, maybe. Okay, whatever. We'll just hope that all three of them together combine all three of your brain cells and see what happens. I guess maybe I should have put her, like, closer to him or something. I guess that's maybe what it is. Ah, whatever. <sighs> I think just preliminary. Boost. Okay, so that was basically it. Okay, I can't move anybody else. Everybody else hates me, so. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I guess I can cancel movement? I didn't even know I could do that. Ah, damn it. I didn't know I could do that. Damn it. Okay, <laughs> let me write that down in my notes. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> B. Clear movement. Damn it, I totally would have done that. Ah! Okay, it's fine. We got like nine hours, right? We're good. We're good. <laughs> it's gonna be fine, guys. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be great. I can't do anything with y'all, can I? No. Nah, nor. Wait, Rowdy can be moved? Where is she? Oh, yeah, actually. Okay. This other one. Okay, here we go. Forgot the other floor. Can't move anybody ever. Okay. So, can move her here. Well, I guess she can at least get kind of close to the thing. If you fail this part of the game, is the game over and everybody dies? I assume as much. Right? I think so. Oh, is she able to inspect from here? Is inspect? Inspect is for, yeah, mystery squares, so I think she's good to inspect, right? Yay! Oh, thank god, I'm doing something. <laughs> yes! Okay. Everybody hates me up here, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that's good, then. I can probably just do another pre prelim, right? Okay. Che, this door is one tough so son of a gun. I was about to say like Sauvignon. When did I turn French? Was it always this slab dash or did some jamoke mess with it? Girl really grinds my gears. Evidence acquired. Cricket doors. Okay, that was really weird. Okay, I think that might be everybody then that I can move. I think so. I guess I'll just let me do all this later. I beat the game and found the investigation the most complicated. The most complicated upon first try yet. Yeah, it's very complicated. I was excited about it when I heard about it. Like, you know, at first, now I'm like, damn, this is a lot. This do be a lot. Isn't this one of Doleful's bandages? Just looking at this much blood makes me shiver. His fortitude is admirable. What's your fucking bandage doing there, homie? Meet the certain meeting certain requirements, such as performing well in a previous chapter's resolution, will cause residual thoughts to appear on the map. Oh, as performing well in the previous chapter's resolution. Okay, <laughs> so I performed well. That's what you're trying to say. <laughs> and no, thank you, thank you, game. And no, but compliment me more. RTs are powerful feeling and memories that only incompetent detective can inspect. Okay. Others may acquire evidence via inspection, but are unable to read the contents of an RT. Okay, so probably just don't even bother with them. If you happen upon an RT, move in confident detective over to reveal its contents. Okay, maybe I'll uh, take more photos so I don't have to look this up later when I eventually have to play this again. There we go. 
there is no poison in this flower vase. Though, come to think of it, the vase and the trapdoor was broken. Does that mean? Evidence acquired. Broken flower vase. That seems important to you. It's wet, but only around here. How unusual. If it was due to blood spray, there would be other spots nearby. This may be worth analyzing. Evidence acquired. Wet floor. Okay. Thanks, guys, for doing your work. Even though you hate me. <laughs> Even though you hate me, it's fine. It's whatever. Okay, girl. Okay, girly pop. Let's move over here and assist, right? Okay. I think that's good, right? Oh. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Okay, girly pop. Let's go there. Okay. Assist. And you assist, too. Everybody assist. We didn't unlock this last time. I think it just broke down some of their little, like, barriers or whatever. And I can't... Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Nada. Okay, I guess I can move Rowdy, too. I guess maybe, like, as each chapter, um, like, continues, I'll be able to, um, whatchamacallit, uh, like, move more people, probably. Okay. Move. Can I move you? No, I can't move you to the red spot, but I want you to. Yes. Ugh. I guess I could try to get her to come over here to Posh, too. I want to do these little red marks, too, but I know that's like a, I don't know, it's more of like a, um, whatchamacallit, um, optional thing. Let's probably focus on getting all the, the main stuff first. Damn, there's another one over here. Jesus. <laughs> I can't even move all you guys. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just move you here for now. You wait, no. Wait, no. That's slightly closer, I think, technically? No, no, whatever. Let's move you here. I know I can do map-wide movement, but then you can't, like, investigate, right? Like, that round. So it's like, I know, but I don't know if I want to do that since that wastes, like, a turn. And she's already kind of close, right? Okay, well, everybody's telling me to do the map-wide movement, so I guess I'll do it. Actually, let me, uh... Is it this? Or wait. Wasn't it Y? Oh yeah, it was this, and then you do that. I was like, yes I can, but... I don't know, I just remember it like, used up like a whole turn. Eh, whatever, I'll just move her here. Okay, we'll just do that for now. I guess it's fine if I can't move her again. Yeah, sort of like her range was kind of big over here with, um, you know, through the wall. So I thought maybe she can investigate through the wall again, but whatever. Um, actually, have I done everything? Yeah, it's fine if y'all want to help. I think, like, honestly, I don't mind if, like, people want to help. I just don't like when people are rude about it, you know what I mean? Like, if you want to help and be like, hey, I think it might be better to do this, then, like, I don't really mind personally. Um, the only stuff I don't like is when you're like, Oh, you're so shit at this game, we be like, suck so bad, like, this is what you should be doing. That's what I'm like. I'm gonna ignore you just because, just because I'm bitter. <laughs> the culprit seemed invisible because the door shut on its own. Exposing the trick behind it and the doorstop will prove this crime isn't supernatural. The investigation has progressed. Techie Detective is now interven intervenable. Yay! As investigations proceed, you may become able to intervene with characters you couldn't before. The timing varies per detective, so remember to have them perform actions once it happens. Yay! Noise! Oh wait, could he have done this then? Or should he help her? What's your assist? Ding, ding, ding. Assistance is four. What's your assist? Eh. Assistance is seven. Maybe she'd be better for assist then. Oh yeah, should I check and see you? Analyze? Oh, actually I am supposed to analyze some of this stuff. Check out RT with Incompetent for lore. Oh yeah, yeah, I need to do that too. God, there's so much stuff to do. I wish I had more time. <laughs> oh man. It's best for checking, wait, what's best for checking characters? I don't know, I wonder if I can, can I at least, can I move him here? No, not really. Should I just have him analyze stuff then? Yeah, his analyzation's pretty good, right? Analysis difficulty four. Let me do this then. Okay. Preliminary again, probably. I think so. 
trying to like make sure I'm doing all the stats and stuff correctly. So I assume you know you're supposed to do everybody's stats. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I guess this is locked, so. Okay, well, we'll just do this and see if it unlocks anything. Oh, wait. <laughs> My bad. Press the wrong button. Okay. Analysis complete! Posh at the base of the crime scene contained neurotoxin. If it's highly volatile, it could be the murder weapon, but something feels off. I've discovered a trap set by the culprit. You found a trap laid by the culprit! Leave a detective in the trap when an investigation begins and it's game over. Oh, wait, what? Found trap laid by the culprit. Leave a detective in the trap when the investigation begins and it's game over. You can remove a trap by having detectives make inferences on it to reduce its RP to zero. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God. It's another thing. Be mindful of detectives you can't intervene with. Make sure they don't land on spaces with traps. <laughs> now I gotta control y'all's dumbasses <laughs> that aren't even listening to me. It's not my fault if Posh dies. She's the one who's blo who blocked me on her D-pad. It's not my fault she hates me and she's bitter. Just because Ideal's haunting me instead. If you win, an investigation begins. Okay, okay, when you press the investigation button, so. Ook! Okay. Um... Okay, I think she's good right now, though, right? So I'll just have to have them... So I have to have them go and then like defeat it and then Oh Jesus, there's another one over here. What the fuck, culprit? <laughs> Leave me alone. Why are they bullying me? Oh hey, there's another investigation thing. I didn't even notice that. Uh <laughs> Jesus, God, there's another one. <laughs> Bro, can you move your dumbass away from it, please? <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay, well, he's not in the square. He's like right next to it. So we're good, right? We're good. We're good. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, whatever. If we die, we die. It's fine. Motherfucker! <laughs> you motherfucker! Oh, whatever poison they used was easy to identify. It's okay, okay. Okay, it's good. He solved it. It's almost like they're begging us to solve this one. Okay, that's good. I thought he was just gonna walk into me like, oh no, I get you game over, Weeby. That's so sad. That's so sad. To say they aim to destroy our food, it feels remiss. Planting poison would have been much simpler. They must have a reason for making a show of this. Evidence acquired, ransacked fridge. Okay, cool. Seven hours remain. <laughs> this is so nerve wracking. I don't know if I'll be able to get into these red points, man. Okay, I should probably try to get, should I try to get what's-his-face over here now? Um, Watto over to the, the RT, the RT point. That seems pretty important, right? Okay, I guess I'll do this screen. Probably. This thing. I assume that makes the most sense. Just put you on it. Okay, I think. Okay, and have him infer on it or something, I think. I guess I can re-look at the, the instructions later. Okay, um, then what do I do with this? Let me, I'm so glad I took pictures of these. <laughs> then for the squares, what do you do for the squares? Do you infer to make it go down? Was that it? Intervene, mindful of detective you can't intervene with, blah, blah, blah. Make inferences on it to reduce its RP to zero. Technically, I don't have to, like, get rid of it, though, right? It's, like, kind of, you know, if you want to. <laughs> if you feel like it, I guess, like, you know, Gourmet might just, like, walk into it, though. Like the dumbass she is. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you, Gourmet, girly, girly pop. Okay, inspect. Okay, so she should be good to inspect that now. Um, him, I could maybe move, like, over here. Right? I guess it might just be good to use a turn for that. Then I can't use any of you guys. Or there's nobody else down here. Cool. <laughs> then Posh has me blocked still. Okay. Right? I think that's probably the best thing. Just to move him over here. Was his, was his investigation thing good though? Analyzation. What is it? Inspect. Inspection. Oh Jesus Christ, your inspection's one, homie? Oh my lord. <laughs> 
is awful. That's terrible. Can he, is he even be able to inspect this? Okay, whatever. Let's just try it anyways. It's fine. Everything's Daijobu. Everything's Daijobu. It's whatever. Don't fuck this up for me, okay? I don't think I really remember it mentioning anything about having to have a certain level for the investigation squares. I don't think I remember that. That wasn't a thing, right? Let me double check. Let me double check. Actually, should I just have him actually wait, wait. Should I just have him keep analyzing stuff? He's good at that, right? You're good at that. That's like your thing. Well, let's see. Yeah, I thought you were supposed to be like the top 10 detectives or some shit. How was your, how was your inspection one? <laughs> Granted, those are all pretty easy, so it's not like I have to use him for that. What's your analyzation one? Oh my god. Armor! What? <laughs> okay. Okay, he has two really good. Uh, okay, at least his movement's really good. Maybe I'll just go ahead and have you do this, bestie. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll have him do... Maybe I'll have him do that. Okay. At least get one of these. Was it infer or analyze? Right? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, man. I think it was infer, right, for these? I think he's got like one point for it, but he can probably analyze it, right? Right? He's good. You got this, bestie. I believe in you. Or wait, was it inspect? Okay, okay, I was inspect. Okay, and then should I have her analyze something? We got a lot of stuff to analyze. Actually, I guess I can move her too and make her analyze, right? Is there anything else? Even like over here that she should go to? Uh, I guess I can just like move her and then make her analyze or something. I don't know. This is better than nothing. Can go to that one later, maybe. <laughs> Doing great, Weeby. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, well, at least you can do that. Um, I guess I'll maybe just have him analyze. Should I just have him move, too? I'll just have him move and then analyze, right? I think that makes sense. Because we might... I might need him over here for this thing later. So I think that makes sense. Mid analysis. Let's do wet floor. Okay. I think we've done everything we can do then. I think we've done everything. Okay. Analysis complete. This reaction indicates that this is water. Odd, since the only water in that room would have been in the flower vase. This must be vital evidence. Yay. <laughs> I like how cute the like jump. So cute. So the hinge is why the door is so hard to open. And it wasn't just built like crap. I don't really get it, but like, whatevs. <laughs> Whatever. Somebody else can tell me how to do it <laughs> later. Hey, there's a spot we can't see on the camera because it's blocked by the table. Oh, seems fishy. My gut says this is the key to solving this case. Oh, sussy. Security camera footage. Huzzah, I happened upon new information. Now to share these findings with the group. Yay! Okay, that seemed like a pretty good, pretty good run. I think so. I think so, if I do say so myself. Then Watto can infer or inspect or whatever. Whatever the hell he's supposed to do later. Okay, I don't think I can do anything else, right? I think I used that about as best as I could. Yeah, I might just ignore these unless they have like a mystery point on it. Okay, let's just investigate. Do Bitch, don't. Like, <laughs> girl, don't. <laughs> stop. Stop running to the squares. <laughs> Let's stop. Let's stop going to the to the traps. Okay. Um. Where are you, Watto? Oh, actually, I think he's on this one. Okay. Was this one inspect or was it infer? <laughs> I kind of wish they just had one button for inspect and infer, because I don't know. Because I feel like it just makes it, like, kind of uselessly confusing to have both of them. Move incompetent. Meetings requirements. Well, res residual thoughts. 
RT powerful memory is only a competent can inspect. Okay, so inspect it. Okay, cool. Yay! Need to stop doleful? How do I do that though? He do be going he do be going over here. I can't really move him though, so I'm not really sure uh, how to do that. Okay. Um should I um the traps can be removed by inferring them. Though they work like MP, so the number has to go down for them to disappear. Okay. So I have to move somebody to Doleful? Is that it? Can I even move anybody down here? Inference one. His inference is three. Then his inference is four. So I just gotta move, send someone to, you need to send somebody to him pretty much. Okay. Okay, assistant seven. What's your assistance? Assistance four. Okay, probably move Techie then, right? Okay, I think I can only really do this thing, right? Is there anything else I have to do besides just like send somebody next to him? What do is prevent is to analyze the vase and therefore not trigger the trap. Oh, analyze, wait, analyze the vase? Already analyzed the vase. So I think that's okay-ish. <laughs> Wait, man, I wish I could save. I don't think I can save. Damn it! Damn it! I think, I think I should move him though, right? I think so. Maybe if I put him in front of him. <laughs> That'll like, you know, be enough to say like, hey, let's maybe not go this way. Or should I move him closer to the little square thing where the, the bad juju is? The trap happened because you analyzed the vase. Oh, seriously? God damn it. Maybe I'll just move, should I move him here? Or should I be next to him? It's to not analyze the vase. Oh, so wait, am I just like screwed? Only thing you can do to prevent this is to not analyze the vase. Okay, let me, okay, whatever. Because even if I move him, I can't assist him, right? Uh, uh, don't put him in the trap, put him next to it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Doing good, doing good, doing great. Okay, um. Man, that kind of makes it feel like analyzing is not is not good. And the game wants people to wants to notice people walking into traps before they happen. I'm not sure you can save it at this point. It's tough. Damn. 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 Okay. God dang it. I'm so screwed. So I just have you guys analyze stuff. Damn it. <laughs> Fricked up. Fricked up, huh? That's so hard. Okay, well. No matter the outcome, it's GG. Damn. Okay, whatever. I guess I'll just analyze some stuff then. Yeah, I know analyzing is mandatory, but yeah, it kind of seemed like it screwed me up this time. Um, yeah, there's not really anything I can do, right? It's like I can't assist her. And just move her here for when she eventually assists. Like it's, uh, you know, like I'm not gonna die. Huh, damn, that's really hard. That's so tough. Slay. <laughs> I'm getting slayed. I know it doesn't do anything because it's like locked or whatever, but. Okay, whatever. I guess I can't. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep. We're just gonna keep hoping, guys. I'm like spitballing here, so I don't take it too serious. Maybe the culprit takes something from the fridge, like a snack or whatever. The investigation has progressed. Workaholic is now intervenable. Analysis complete. 
the wedge that held the door jars and the camera's blind spot. Perchance the door stop was tampered through artifices unseen. I approach the hazy image and my vision flickers. Suddenly a scene flashes through my mind. Of everybody dying, which is what's gonna happen because we'd be fucked up. It's from when we were cleaning up after eating, following our escape from the trap room. Oh, uh, okay. Yikes! It was when he lost his band-aid or whatever. Doleful, are you okay? I quickly reach out to Doleful as he slips on the floor. He feels surprisingly light in my arms. How much hardship has this frail body of his gone through? Thanks, incompetent. I'm pretty clumsy, even when I'm not investigating. I can tell from how banged up you are. You've probably been through a lot over the years, huh? The cut Doleful got from that wiretap on our first day is still... Painfully fresh on his leg. Tutorial said the traps are removed via inferring them. The number goes to zero. Just make sure the detectives don't stay in the square when the next turn starts. Yeah, I guess I can try that. It's been more than 24 hours since then, but a scab is yet to form. It looks like it's bled if you've touched it. That wound in your leg seems pretty deep. Does it still hurt? Yeah, I guess so. I'm so used to pain at this point that I'm not entirely sure. My real name, it's... Oh, Rio Gray. I've already assumed that my life would be as dull and colorless as my name. Cordelia Gray experiences nothing but misfortune, too. Maybe it's just the fate of anybody with this name. Sorry for getting you involved in it. Oh, man, he's telling us his name. That's like a big deal. Cordelia Gray. She's the famous literary detective created by Phyllis Dorothy James, right? She first appeared in the novel, An Unsuitable Job for a Woman, persevering against numerous setbacks and winning the hearts of readers worldwide. That feels like such a death flag to get his name. Give a doleful's and hair and ability to attract threats. The fact that he shares a name with her strikes me as nothing short of de destiny, because that was like the big, they made such a big deal out of that. Like, you can't give a name that's like, you know, letting your guard down as a detective. That just feels like he's dead. You shouldn't get too close to me either, incompetent. You might encounter more dangerous traps, like what we saw today. People think my danger magnet makes me a great detective, but they're wrong. All I do is draw in tragedies. Oh, all RTs have a detective reveal their true name. Oh, interesting. It's a horrible fit for me. Doleful. I firmly grasp Doleful's shoulders and look directly into his eyes. He blinks in surprise as I voice my thoughts. People rooted for Cordelia because she persisted as a sleuth till the end. No matter what trials and adversities were thrown her way. I can tell from your injuries you face many challenges, just like she did. Those wounds on you are the mark of a truly great detective. Even if you don't believe it, I will. This line of work suits you. In fact, it's precisely because of the person you are that it does. Incompetent. Thanks. I'm glad there are people like you who can understand my struggles. Let's make it out of here alive together. Oh, I like you, Doleful. By the way, just now you told me your real name without a second thought. Is that okay for you to do as a DA member, I mean? Oh, thank you so much, David. I have three friends that drew each other. Andrew drew and Andrew drew and Drew drew and Andrew 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 drew and Drew Andrew. That is so true. <laughs> that is so true, bestie. That's a good one, honestly. Thank you, David, for the don't know. Appreciate you. Thanks for stopping by. By the way, just now you told me your real name without a second thought. Is that okay? Oh, God, I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> oh, jeez, this is such a death flag. How can I do that? I've gotten so comfortable with you that I let my guard down. Please pretend you never heard it. Oh, God, I'm really not cut out for detective work. I wish I could just shrivel up and die. Oh, I like Doleful. I continue canceling Doleful as we finish putting away the silverware. I feel a bit sorry for him, but I'm honestly a little giddy. If he inadvertently shared his name like that, that must mean we're getting closer. That scene just now was from when I chatted with Doleful yesterday. Why did it replay in my head like that? Oh, here I am to explain! Already capable of reading residual thoughts, are we? I can always count on you to acclimate in short order, Watto. Is that why the, we found the band-aid? Because I thought that was like, uh, gonna make Doleful seem sussy, but maybe it's just like, uh, kind of foreshadowing this moment. Residual thoughts, so it's kind of like those haunted portraits that capture people's souls. Uh, yes and no, everything leaves a trace. Regardless of what it may be, should one manage to read them, they can reveal whatever occurred. 
By deriving what process led to the conclusions before you, you can see the past. Being a fan of Sherlock Holmes, does the process sound familiar? Um, oh yeah, it's called abductive reasoning, isn't it? Correct. When praising Holmes' talent, most will emphasize his observational abilities, whereupon he forms accurate theories with minimal data. You, however, possess the denouement. No matter how faint or trivial a trace, you can read it, allowing you to make abductions beyond his kin. A residual thought is a real event from the past, detected by your vision. Come into contact with one and you will live it as if, as if it was your own. Wow, that's amazing. I could solve pretty much any case imaginable with a power like this. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty overpowered, huh? Well, given your current prowess, it'll still take a bit of time and effort to master. Solving cases the conventional way will be less taxing for now. There are no shortcut shortcuts for forming a solid hypothesis. You must struggle desperately and fight earnestly. So no ability is all powerful is basically what you're telling me. Damn it! I went to my OP ability. Hone yourself enough, and you may just prove me wrong. Now set your sights on becoming a great detective, and continue your investigation. And now die. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ideal, for that lovely speech. Now, I didn't forget. I didn't, I did not forget that I'm about to die. <laughs> Come on, I know you can do this. I know you can save him. Doleful, why? Why are you doing this to me? Don't do this to me. Don't do this. No, damn it, he is going there. But he's blocking. Techie? Come on, run him over. Come on, run him over with your wheelchair. You can do it. Stop him. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. I won't judge you. I won't fucking judge you. Oh, RTs are like this, um... Okay, so it's kind of like, um... Uh, whatchamacallit, free time events. Okay, let's die. Oh, god damn it. She went into one, too. <laughs> Not even I could gobble down this poison. Sorry, I'll just have to toss it away without so much as a taste. Well, she seems okay. She's okay, guys. We're good. Oh, it's, uh, oh, fuck you, doleful. Never mind, I hate you. <laughs> I was like, forget it. Forget everything I, god damn it. God damn it, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's great. It's great. How much do I have to restart? Now I gotta start from the beginning. <laughs> oh, god. Okay, it's fine. It's totally good. It's all good. Okay, so we learned... Don't. Oh man, we learned not to investigate. Wait, right? Come on. Okay. Move. Try move him here. Ugh, it's fine, guys. It's totally fine. I don't want to die at all. <laughs> totally good. Okay. Don't look at the vase. Don't look at the vase. <laughs> That's all I need to remember is not to look at the vase. There's one thing I can remember from this. Man, that sucks though. That's so hard. Okay, is anybody else I can move? Oh yeah, Rowdy. Can move you, right? Okay. Um Inspect! Yay! Well, at least we're doing better this time, I think. So far. <laughs> it's like, damn it. So, Fire Emblem Stream win. <laughs> I'd be doing that in my free time. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you can send someone through map wide next to the trap near Doleful for them to solve it so he won't die. That That's a good... Thank you, Panda! I will keep that in mind. Want to have son of a gun! Yeehaw! Boost! Super boost! Super mega awesome boost! Super sad! The culprit seemed invisible because the door shut on its own, exposing the trick behind the supernatural. Investigation has progressed. Okay, so now I can move the other characters, right? <laughs> Damn you, doleful! You son of a bitch! Okay, it's fine. I guess, should I... I don't know, man. I just don't know. Oh, Jesus Christ, really? Okay, so that's why your inspect is so low, because I have to, like, literally move you right next to this to do it. He <laughs> did, right when he did the, the death flags, it was right when he, when he screwed us all. 
Okay, well, you can do that now, so that's good. Then I think everything else is good. Dolfo really did raise his death flags for sure. <laughs> Literally died right after <laughs> he told us his name. Uh, well, I guess I could do prelim again, maybe. I don't know. Because I am like, I could have somebody else, like, uh, if I do, I'm like, should I do the vase and then have somebody solve it? Just so, like, he doesn't die. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But thank you, Bridget, for the donation. Sorry, I got kind of... I'm getting distracted because I'm just... I'm in the zone, baby. I'm in the zone. Okay. Prelim. It's wet only around here. Wet floor. Okay. I can't move anybody else, though, right now, right? Damn you, Doleful. I blame you for this. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, let's go ahead and investigate that. That was a pretty good uh, use of around though. It's one of Doleful's bandages. Okay, yeah, so literally, that was what it was about. Makes me shiver. It's far too admirable. So yeah, that really is like the whole. Uh... Okay, do I really have to investigate that then or analyze it? You can check out the RT again with Watto and skip the dialogue since you already saw it. Yeah, that's kind of what I was planning on doing. I feel like it's probably important to do, but you know. Okay. He's down here. So I'm like... Wait, if he lands... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Okay. Ugh, fuck. I'm like trying to think of this. I can only, I can move Rowdy though too. What's her? Assistance, inference. No, her inference sucks. His inference is three. So maybe have her, cause like, okay, wait. So if Doleful, if Doleful <laughs> lands over here, but it's not like detected, will the trap still like kill him? That's kind of what I'm wondering. That's kind of what I'm wondering, but. I don't know, it's fine. I think what I should probably do, have her analyze the vase or whatever. Then it'll pop up, then I'll send what's his face over there. Um Whatchamacallit? I'll send Techie over there. Have him knock it down like three points. And then when Doleful goes over there, he should be good, right? I think that's right. Or it won't it won't activate if I don't infest the do the vase. Okay. I mean I guess it's cool too, but you know. It won't? Okay. Sweet. <laughs> then I guess... Okay, then cool. I guess I won't do anything with it then until after he moves past that spot. So maybe I should just do this. Yeah, I guess I'll just hold off on analyzing stuff then. If that's the case. Okay, cool. Nope. Actually, should I have her investigate the toilet first? And then... Wait, 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 wait. What was her assist? Assistant 7. I feel like I'll eventually need her over here. And then... His analyzation... It's like five? That's whatever. Oh, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Let's do you here then. Then maybe I should have Techie move to the toilet one. Yeah, I'm sure I need to do the vase at some point, but I think, um... If I can just wait to do it, you know, like, later, then I think I'm cool with doing that. Might just wait to do all this stuff at the end, right? Ugh, fuck you, flower vase. Fuck you, I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Let's just, I think that's fine with me. I think that might be my new strategy. Just do that last, and I'll have him come over here. I'll just do it, yeah. I'll just do all that stuff last, I think. I think that makes the best point, just to kind of, you know, analyze stuff last. Especially the flower vase, I'll definitely do that last. Okay. I think that's good. Oh wait, no, I can move you guys again. Oh, cool. Yay. I can have you investigate that. Awesome. Inspect. That guy's actually kind of going better. No, damn it, he's so close. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. Uh, he's so close to being able to do that. Damn it. It's fine, I guess. Actually, could I... Could I... Clear action? Oh, no, wait. Um, 
Can I move? Oh, okay, I can move her here then. We'll have her inspect. Oh, I'm so glad you can do that. You can clear the actions. Thank God. Okay, then I can have him inspect this. Cool. You know, maybe it was a good thing I died. <laughs> this is going way better. And then I can move you all the way over here to the RT thing. Okay, I think I should be good then. Oh, it's a pretty good. Okay, I'm kind of liking this. You know, this it's all working out. It's all working out, guys. It's all working out. Hey, that's like super important. Oh, you can inspect rare points even if you're not standing on them? I thought you had to stand like exactly on that spot. Super important. Better DM everybody about it. Huzzah, I've happened upon new information. Now to share these findings with the group. Okay, cool. Okay, I thought you had to stand exactly on top of those. Okay. I think we're ready then. Investigate. It's no longer your turn to die, Doleful. Seven hours remain. Okay, cool. I guess I need to start kind of moving them. Then I think you inspect this, right? Pretty sure. Um, and you can inspect this. Then you can inspect. Even though, is your, your inspect kind of sucks. It's whatever. <laughs> I think it just means you have to be closer to it, so that's fine. That's all good. Okay, cool. So I guess, I think I should be okay. Well, should I have them do the red points maybe then? Am I... Like, uh, technically I think it's like better to analyze, but now I'm just like scared. I think it's fine. I think it's, it's fine if I have, as long as we don't have the flower vase, we're good, right? I'm just so scared. I'm like scared to analyze any of it anymore. <laughs> I'm literally terrified. You guys don't understand <laughs> how scared I am. Let's just do the red points. We'll do, we'll do all that other stuff later. It's fine. We'll just do a little analysis last. I'm too scared. <laughs> I'm traumatized by you, Doleful. I hope you're happy. I hope you're fucking happy. <laughs> okay. I'll just have them do the red points for now. <laughs> oh, man. My forensic friend, Oogly Googly, is reacting. This is definitely poison. It looks like the culprit disposed of it in the toilet. Okay. Toilet toxic. Toxicology results. Hey, there's a spot we can't see on the camera because it's blocked. Okay, yeah, I remember that one before. I approached the hazy image. Oh, yeah, I guess, um, can I? Yeah, it doesn't save over, so. Doleful being all sussy. I wonder if there's another way to fast forward. I guess I could always turn off that option really quickly. It's like, of course, the first time I need it. <laughs> it's like right when I turned it off. <laughs> Oogly googly. I love Techie. I love his little names that he creates for his little pets. They're so cute. Oh, man. Yeah, I think, like, my favorites... I feel like Downtown, Armor, Techie, Renegade, Doleful. That's already, like, five characters. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, holding L works? Okay, cool. Yay! The music's gone. Do, do, do. Okay, we can investigate, right? Right. Right. We good. We Gucci. We good. You ready to you ready to sewer slide? Oh, he's literally oh my god, he's literally sliding. <laughs> right into the sewer slide. <laughs> okay. But yeah, all the characters are so good so far. They've all been uh, really interesting. Six hours left. Okay, you can inspect this, and then I guess you can inspect this. And I guess, uh, fine. I guess I can start analyzing stuff. Ew, I don't want to. <laughs> I really don't want to. 
I guess maybe I should go ahead and move somebody over here. Because he's going to need help over here anyways. Whose assistant is higher? Wasn't it Rowdy who had a higher assistant? Yeah. Maybe good to go ahead and move her over here. I feel like it was like... Right here, maybe? Okay, I think that's okay. And then, well, I guess, uh, I guess I can have him analyze. Um, I guess I could do like crooked doors or wet floor or something. Oh, poison detect in the water. Okay, I'll have to. Okay, I should definitely start analyzing some of this stuff. Because I'm being way, uh, way too. Do you do? I wasn't sure, was the second one, was the first one technically a trial? I was like, I didn't really know exactly, um, I didn't know exactly, like, if it counted or not. Oh, wait, what are you doing? You can analyze, right? I guess I should have you. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Can't analyze that. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so fucking scared. Um, okay, I think everybody's doing something now, right? Let me do the prelim anyways. Analysis complete! Reaction to cases is water. Oh shit, I didn't really read it. Reaction to cases is water. Odd, since the only water in that room must have been in the flower vase. This must be vital evidence. Oh, this bit looks super important. I gotta DM everybody. Huzzah, I happened upon new information. Now to share these findings with the group. Analysis complete. It turns out you can fix the angle of the doors by simply adjusting the hinges, but were the hinges always bent this way? Okay, cool. Okay, I kind of feel better actually analyzing something. I just like, I don't know, man. I feel like <laughs> just an anxious person. I'm like... <laughs> Something bad happened during analysis, so something, therefore, something bad must always happen through analysis. Oh, you get more characters through analysis, too. I kind of forgot about that. This whole thing is so, like, uh, so complicated. Okay, I probably should really start analyzing basically everything besides the vase. That seems to be the best way. Oh, wait, actually, should I go ahead and move? No, it's, it's locked, so I don't think there's really anything I can do, right? Well, I can just at least have her, like, move here, right? Yeah, let's just go have, ahead and have her move here, so she can eventually help whenever that gets unlocked. I think that makes sense. All right, all good. Okay, now you can start analyzing stuff. Like, should I have him? Uh, I guess I... Uh, should I do the toilet toxicology ones? He probably should do that one, because it's, like, the five... And then, oh yeah, I moved you, but I can still have you analyze stuff, right? Ransacked. And not the flower vase. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna kill us both. Let's do the ransacked fridge. And then, are you doing anything? I guess I can just move you to another red point, right? One of the bits where the preliminary can kind of be useful. You can investigate, set investigators to analyze, use preliminary, and then, and then when things go wrong, you can fix them. I guess that works too. I just like, I'm so nervous about that stupid vase. <laughs> I'm so nervous about it. So I'm like, ah, it's all good. We'll, uh, we'll just do this for now. We'll just do some more red marks. Can I move these guys? Um, on different floors? No, I don't think so. I think they can only stay on one floor. I think so. I guess we'll see. Cool. I don't know if I can really do anything with Watto. I think eventually he'll maybe need to go down here. Might be good just to have him kind of down here with these guys so he can help. Right? Okay, let's do prelim. The forensic report says the toilet water contains barotrotoxin used in antiquity to poison arrows. Even a tiny dose of this neurotoxin can be lethal. 
Analysis complete. Bingo, the perp wanted us to think they sacked the fridge, but nicked something and booked it. Don't know why, but I doubt it was part of the crime. The investigation has progressed. Workaholic detective is now intervenable. Okay, sweet. Oh, nice. We can do this one now, too. Thank God. Can he assist? Nah. Nor I can't assist. I guess I just have to move them next time, right? Well, what's your inference is... Well, I guess you can go ahead and infer this, because that'll knock it down a few things at least, right? Man, I can't... I can't do anything, though. Damn it! Damn it! I can't assist! I'm just, like, barely too far, I think, right? Wait, right? I can't move my thing. And then, yeah, I don't think I can move any of them. So I think I might be... I think it might be GG for this one. Oh man. Getting kind of close. Analyze. But all I have to analyze is the is the vase. I really don't know if I should be doing that. Oh wait. Oh, there's a there's a security footage still? Oh, okay. I didn't realize there was still that one. Okay, cool. Then I think that's good. Let's do another prelim. Analysis complete. I didn't realize there was anything else besides the vase. Oh, the camera feed overlooks the spot where the doorstop was, which means you could tamper with it and avoid getting caught. Okay. Oh, hey, that one's good now, too. Yes, finally. Yay. Should I move somebody over there? Or... Damn it, <laughs> Rowdy. <laughs> I already moved you down there. I guess, wait, is Techie? No, I still can't move him. Damn it. I was kind of hoping she could help with that first. Okay, I don't think I can do anything else anyways. Investigate. Four hours. Oh man, okay. Let's go ahead and, uh... What was his assistance? Oh, his assistance is really good. Okay, so he's inferring. Yeah. He's inferring, he's assisting. That's what we need for that. It's only the most important thing right now. Then you're inspecting. It kind of seems like you're already inspecting, but inspect harder! Then you also inspect. Yeah, we're in chapter two. Man, ah, I wish I would have moved her, damn it. <laughs> I guess I can move him back, but then I can't do anything this round. I gotta move somebody here though. What's your assistance? It's four. Four and your inference is two, four, five, six. Nah, nor, I need Rowdy over here. What's your assistance? Seven. God damn it, Rowdy. <laughs> I would have moved you over there if I knew I was going to need you over here. Okay, whatever. It's fine. I'll just move you back later, I guess. I don't know what you should be doing. Guess you can, uh... Guess I can move him uh, to the red point, maybe? The investigation section is trial and error. Sometimes you take your time. Yeah, it'd be like that. There's not really any way to, like know when like each one's gonna you know like unlock first so just kind of got to do your best I guess okay ooh this event looks super important gonna DM anybody huzzah I've happened upon new information oh to share these findings with the group I'm just really glad we have a uh, prelim that does help a lot watch this like unlock dolefuls right after I moved <laughs> right after I moved uh, Rowdy I appreciate the help and confidence. Thanks to you, we now know what the culprit know that the culprit took the ice from the tray. Workaholic, you know all the food scattered around has dirtied your clothes, right? Were you that determined to inspect the fridge? Mystic was my comrade. We survived some tough times together. I could just I couldn't just stand by knowing his last meal might have been ruined. Yay! 
<laughs> of course, of course it fucking unlocks now right after I moved Rowdy, damn it. God damn it, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's great. Everything is great in Weeby News land. Everything's great. Everything's super, super awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe it's time for some water. Okay. Three hours. I think I should be okay, though, right? Probably. Probably, maybe, and maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Who knows? Who cares? It's fine. It's great. It's great. Everything's great. Everything's so awesome. So awesome. So awesome, Posh. It's so cool that you're just not going to let me help you. Okay, should I even do anything else? I guess have you inspect. I am not touching that fucking vase, dude. You cannot make me. <laughs> you cannot fucking make me. Uh, I just want to do this one first. <sighs> Fuck you, Doleful. You've ruined everything. <laughs> no, it's okay, Doleful. I'll stop blaming you. It's fine. It's fine. I should report this data to everyone. I'm just such a perfectionist, too, so it's, like, just painful when, like, like I could have done everything perfect, but I, it's ruined now. Let's date it. I should report this data to everyone else, right? Or maybe not. No, better safe than sorry, if I'm unsure. Boost. Hours before annihilation, yeah, yeah. A phantom criminal, preposterous. All they did was set the door to close beforehand by using a trick of some sort. How sly. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, another one? Okay, well, that gives me something to do here, I guess. What's your analysis? Probably, well. No, inference. Inference is five. Two. I don't think your inference is that good, right? Yeah, he's definitely got the best inference. I know armors is like a negative five, so <laughs> let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do this. <clears throat> I guess I'll just move both of us over here. Oh, 20? Jesus. That's a big one. That's a big boy. Your assist is. Six. Man, I have to move everybody over here. Kind of seems like it. And her assist is probably pretty good, too. That's, like, literally her talent. Oh, hell yeah! Kobe Ean. Let's move you over here. I guess I can move armor, too, just to be safe. Everybody assist! Yeah, I don't think I can get all the red points. It's a little sad, but it's whatever. It's okay, I guess. Can I just look it up later? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> just everybody. <laughs> Give me your strength. Okay, is there anything I can do down here? I don't think so, right? I'm just gonna keep, uh, keep doing that. Okay, I think we're good. Thank you, big chunk of Bridget. Big chunk of Weeby X McDonald's Burger King fan picks. Imagine being a cop and... And you're at a crime scene, and the detective they send to help your team is Armor or Rowdy. Like, what do you do? <laughs> hey, they're trying their best, okay? They're trying their best. <laughs> and that's all that matters. <laughs> I would be so happy, you know? Even if I die, or, you know, I'm not able to solve the case because, <laughs> because Armor is a dumbass, I would still be happy. I would still love and respect that man for showing up. Oh, God. I feel like I'm kind of cutting it close. <laughs> do I even have to? Do I even have to, whatchamacallit, um, do the vase thing? Because that's where I feel like I'm kind of fucked, but we'll see. Don't forget the vase when Doleful's done with the MP. Yeah, yeah. I think I can probably move them, right? I think that's the main thing. I think that's, that's the only thing I have left to analyze, right? 
Fuck you, flower vase. I hate your ass. I hate you so much. <laughs> the bane of my existence. Boo! Super sand boost! Oh, shoot. Ooh, not mean to do that. Knock my mouse down. The poison motor weapon was small enough to flush and would need to be sharp. Was it her? She was in the trap room and she has the means. Oh, talking about, uh, posh? I see. Actually, maybe, should I even, damn it. I was kind of thinking that too. I was like, should I even have moved her here? Can I clear your action? Oh, I can. Oh, slay. That's a slay. Because, yeah, I think technically, uh, oh, wait. Yes! Slay what you want to slay. And let the slay slay out on a slay. <laughs> okay. I'll shut up, right? Okay, so four and then inference is four. Okay, so we're Gucci. We're good. We're good. So then I just gotta move him and then do the vase. And I think I'll be okay. Did I actually get all the red points too? I think so. Okay, we got one more hour. It's a little close. It's a little close, but it's okay. <laughs> yes. Wander aimlessly, my children. Using the camera's blind spot, blind spot, switching ice in as a doorstep. Anyone in the trap room could have done it, but how would they get the door to shut? Investigation completed. Oh, hell yeah! Noise! Two turns left! Oh, I guess I didn't even have to do the, the other thing. Cool. Really? Okay, interesting. I thought that uh, I would have to do more. I thought I would have to do the vase. You're like, and <laughs> now nah, that crappy vase. <laughs> he gives a shit about that. <laughs> oh, thank you, Brian. Appreciate that. Um, I know Bookworm is like resting in a room, but where is that dummy armor and techie? They got wrapped up in something. Don't worry about them. Apart from that, this should be everyone. The detectives gather in the living room. As per my request, there is no going back now. I know. I think I, I just realized I missed a red spot last minute. I was like, damn. I could have, I guess if I would have like, is there, was there an option to stay in? I think there might have been like an option to stay in. Damn it, if I would have done that, then uh, maybe I could have done it. Oh yeah, and thank you, Brian. Did I? Yeah, yeah, I think I did read that. I just was, <laughs> thank you for being a member for six months. I think you forgot to say that part with the, we literally just learned his name. <laughs> yeah, it was like literally a death flag. When you feel around your own, I can offer my assistance if need be. It's fine, solving this case is my responsibility. Ah, uh, you've matured so much. I can hardly recognize you. Best of luck, Watto. I'll sit this one out as much as possible. Okay, yeah, I can't save again. Well, that Holmes moves away from me. It gives, I give her my thanks in my head. Now all that's left is to get this done. It's up to me to reverse this gruesome tragedy. Thanks for coming, everybody. I've gathered you all here to reveal the truth. The truthy truth of Mystic's so-called phantom killer. So, who is it? Is there really some kind of ghost hidden in the manor? Oh, shit! <laughs> Keep calm, Doleful. It's true. This case was baffling in more ways than one. But as it turns out, there are no phantoms involved. Rather, the murderer was a regular human. One with decidedly ill intent. Who would kill father? I am well aware that there were no phantoms involved. Cease this half-witted nonsense at once! What's paramount is that we determine how the culprit poisoned Mystic and closed the door without being captured on film. Naturally, I've expertly deduced that the deed was done using the flower vase. However, I've yet to understand how the door was shut. The method was quite simple, actually. There wasn't any need to shut it manually because the door closes on its own. However, something was needed to tempor temporarily prop it open. Something quite familiar to us. I don't know if I was really looking at the evidence that much. It was quite simple. Naturally... At least the deed was done using the flower vase. However, it turned around the door was shut. The deed was done using the flower vase. The method was quite simple. Then I need to shut it manually because the door closed on its own. However, something was needed to really prop it open. Something quite familiar to us. The door stop. Oh, what are you going on about? Explain it in nobleman's terms, if you please. The culprit needed something to act as a door stop. In order to get this item, they decided to... Oh, ransack the fridge. Okay. They used a sandwich? <laughs> Those bastards. <laughs> How could they? How fucking could they? <laughs> oh, man. Really? <laughs> I guess so. They decided to ransack the fridge. Oh, I didn't get as much um, trust this time. 
Doing so is vital to make this trick work. They used his sandwiches against him. That's fucked up. And confidence on the right track. I didn't catch it myself, but the culprit ransacking the fridge served an important goal. Starving us out, right? I mean, what else could it be? I guess that, that makes more sense than it was used actually for the, uh, the murder itself. I didn't even think about that. No, if it, that was their intention, they would have done this a long time ago. With the addition of security cameras, it'd be too risky to bother sabotaging our food supply. The culprit had an entirely different motive. You're saying that, but what the hell are you getting at? Why hit the fridge if it wasn't even about the grub? It was to divert our attention elsewhere. That what the culprit was truly after was ice. Oh. Ice? What for? Okay, so it would just like melt over time and then cause it to go off. Because the culprit needed something solid. Something that over time would disappear. Oh. There's only one thing the ice could have been used for. Murder weapon. Access to hidden passage. A doorstop. So I watched kill you. That's right. This ice was used as a substitute doorstop. Okay. A doorstop. It was like really cold in there too. So I guess like, um, you know. It would take longer to melt. I feel like it kind of makes Posh seem like even more, what's the word? Like suspect? Cause she was like, I don't know. She's all of a sudden was like, oh, better leave. It's like, how'd you know you need to leave so soon, girly? But I don't think it's her cause it's too obvious, but you know. A doorstop, you mean like that little thingamajig in the trap room? Yeah, if you'll recall, we placed a little wooden block there yesterday to keep the door from closing and setting off the trap. On camera, it seemed as if the doorstop had somehow been removed at the time of the crime, but that's not entirely true. You see, the culprit had already swapped out that wooden block and replaced it with ice. Oh, that's so cool, peepers. One of the people working on the process of elimination fan wiki. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Oh, that's so cool. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. That's awesome. You're working on the wiki, too. How could you tell? Sure, it was damp near the doorway, but how could one make such a distinction with all the blood spray? It was all thanks to the security camera. Look closely at the feet of the trap room. Ah, oh, yeah, the table's covering it up. Right before the crime, you'll notice a reflection near the bottom of the door. The ice had likely begun to melt into a puddle. That's what clued me in on the fact that the doorstop had been replaced. By swapping the doorstop with ice, it would inevitably melt over time, eventually causing the door to close shut. I suspect the culprit used a thermos of some kind in order to transport the ice. Okay. But ice doesn't take long to melt, even in a thermos, so the culprit had to trash the fridge moments before the crime. Solid theory. I'm inclined to agree. While examining the fridge, after it had been ransacked, I noticed something odd about the ice tray. There should have been plenty of water left by the melted ice, but the lack thereof suggests the tray was empty prior to its removal. Was or wait, am I thinking of a different game actually? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm thinking of Despair Time with like the uh, there being like really good circulation in the room and like the water disappearing. Goodness, you examine the refrigerator's contents after they've been so thoroughly strewn about. What an impressive effort! Compared to my daily grind, it was nothing. I'd consider this a specialty of mine, frankly. Um, one sec. Would the door really close on its own if the stopper was, like, gone? I'm staying on the second- I'm staying on the second floor, same as the trap room, but my door totally doesn't do that. <laughs> yeah, that struck me as odd, too. But that was actually another simple trick designed to throw us off. Again, but how? The culprit utilized subtle misdirection, you see. What they did was... Okay, wait, let me... Right my daily ground was nothing. One sec. The door really closed on its own if the stopper was, like, gone. I'm staying on the second floor, same with the trap door. My door totally doesn't do that. Um, utilize the doors, because there was, like, different doors. Make every- make the doors harder to open and close. Alter the door to close automatically. What was that? There was something about, like, the doors being different. What floor? Cricket doors. Ben hinges or why the doors are so difficult to open. Who would have tampered with them? Make the doors harder to open and close. So I think that one. Yay! They tweaked the second floor door to make them harder to move, assuming we'd write it off as the manor being poorly built. Doleful, you spent a while examining the doorway, so I'm sure you noticed, right? Yeah, it wasn't that the doors were poorly constructed. The hinges that allowed them to open and close had been bent. 
That's why I require extra force to move. Does that mean it was somebody, like, strong who did it? I was like, oh man, that's kind of like an armor seems sus. If, like, uh, if it was, you know, potentially one of, because I just was assuming it was the Duke, like, who originally was, like, screwing around with the doors, but if it was somebody, well, I guess one of us is probably the Duke, but, it, like, somebody was messing with the doors to make them harder to open and close, and it was just, like, you know, bending the, like, metal parts, then that would imply that it's somebody strong, so, like, rowdy or armor, potentially. They messed up the hinges? Like, what even? Why go through all that effort just to make the doors hard to open? It'll be faster to show you in person. Let's go examine the trap doors upstairs. We head to the trap door, just as I had requested. The door had been repaired. The door's been fixed, but why? Huh. I see. So this is what Armor and Techie have been up to. Yeah, I asked them to do some repairs. The hinges are properly aligned, too. That is to say, they aren't crooked at all, unlike the ones on the rest of this floor. Twas as Lady Bookworm said, this door shared the same dimensions as those of the guest rooms. Right, earlier I asked these two to take a door from another room and reattach it here. Of course its hinges were bent, as Doleful pointed out, so I had Techie repair it. Now it should work as originally intended. The east-facing entrance is open, so we'll be alright if we continue to close this one. Down cat town, could you take your hand off the door, please? I'm sure. I feel like she feels guilty. It's like, girl, it's okay. I feel like, because she was the one who put the door stopper initially, so she kind of maybe feels like she gave them the idea. Unless it was her who did it. Cause she, you know, did the door stop. Downtown gingerly removes her hand. And then... The door begins to shut, just as we had seen on the camera earlier. What on earth? From the very start, the doors on the second floor were all designed to shut on their own. I understand that much, but how do we manage to overlook such a simple fact? It is odd. No matter how bent the hinges on the other doors are, you would think they would have we'd have noticed that the doors are self-closing closing. That's exactly it. That seems that sense that something was off is the entire crux of this mystery. How do you mean? The culprit utilized a number of subtle psychological suggestions to divert our attention from their little trick. First, they cited shoddy workmanship as the reason the second floor doors were so difficult to open, which caused us to, which caused us to gloss over the actual details. After we discovered the trap in the room, they casually had a door stop prepared, obfuscating the fact that the door closed on its own. Does that make her sus then? Because she was the one who said to do it in the first place. Wait. Culver utilized a number of subtle psychological sessions. First they cited shoddy workmanship as the reason. It was so difficult to open. Huh. Did somebody like specifically mention that? It's like, oh man, I can't remember who mentioned that if somebody did. After we discovered the first person to like make that observation, they casually had a doorstep. Wait, wasn't it? Wait, wasn't it downtown who had the door stop repaired though? Does that mean it's her? I don't know. I don't know. Then after the deed was done, they had the door broken down, effectively hiding the evidence. All the while, the culprit has continually influenced our actions and perception through everyday conversation. Oh no, she's, wait. Oh God, I think it is downtown. Cause she's like really good at talking too. That's like her whole, that's her whole shtick. Thinking back, each comment they made it entirely manipulated our train of logic. We've been playing into the hands of this alleged phantom, a person who- No, god damn it! God damn it! He's totally applying that! A person who hid their murderous intent behind an easygoing facade. It's the very same individual who blamed the doors on shoddy construction, who suggested- who suggested both the door stop and for us to break the door open. No, god damn it! This is all your fucking fault, Weenie, for putting me in the thumbnail like two streams ago. God damn it, downtown! Downtown, detective! You're the only one! God damn it, you're the phantom killer who murdered a mystic detective. Girl, why? 
Lady Downtown, you indict her a Sir Mystic Slayer? Slay? I mean, I am slaying with these nails over here, but also, <laughs> come on, girl. Say something, say something, bestie. Oh, yeah, nice trial there, but she was in our trio, though. You're as crap at investigating as I am. Come on, Downtown, tell him. Let him know he's blowing a whole bunch of hot air. No, god damn it. <gasps> what? Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no, we're gonna have like some fucking like chapter three bullshit. <laughs> I mean, duh, that's like so obvious. I've got the most F tier reasoning skills here, and you legit think I'm the culprit? Okay, okay, no, she's she's defending herself. No, no, you guys say slay. <laughs> okay, this time, this time it was armor detective who said slay. I didn't say it. I didn't say it, okay? And you legit think I'm the culprit? You're being way desperate to get a laugh. And I'm like, sorry the culprit used all that stuff I said against us. Why would they frame me? Oh, that's so lame. But you can't go pinning the blame on me because of that. Um, not cool, dude. Bullying a, <laughs> bullying a teenager, bullying a TikToker, not cool. Not cool, Hajime. Let me ask you, incompetent. Are you really ready to treat somebody like a killer? Oh, hell yeah, this song. Just based on your own speculations? Ugh. Oh, hell yeah. Downtown Stone Cold Gaze silences me on the fucking spot. Now there's a look that could kill. Am I facing the genuine hostility of a murderer? Damn it, do we have to sacrifice her to the target dog? I don't want to anymore. Of someone willing to take the life of another? Of course the culprit would be on edge. If they're caught, then everything they've done up till now will have been for nothing. <laughs> Everybody, you guys are the one telling her to slay this time. This is the reality of solving a mis murder case. It's essentially the same as a death sentence. Yeah, it makes sense, too, that it's somebody who was in that room when the thing, like, went off in the first place, you know? I've always dreamed of being a detective, but I wasn't prepared to corner someone like this. My legs tremble as I nearly retract my accusation. But no, there's no way I can back down now. <laughs> Plus, you blame me for suggesting we break down the door. Um, but like, what choice was there? You actually think that means I did it? Like, <laughs> get real. How about you mellow out and think of some other theories, okay? I'll even pitch it. Girl, you were encouraging me earlier. Now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, you happen to be the slayer? I'm not retracting my accusation. I know you did it downtown. The things you said are only one factor. I didn't want to believe it either, so I tried considering every alternative. But the longer I turned it over in my head, the clearer I became that it could only be you. Yeah, I am glad we're accusing somebody this time, though. I was pretty sad the last time we didn't. Ugh, geez, just back off, dude. You want to point fingers? Ooh, a little new sprite-ish thing. Then dig up some evidence and show us. But if all you're here to do is talk shit, why don't you get along and blog? Get a blog or something. Remember what Posh said? The poison used to kill Mystic was in the flower vase the whole time. Literally, anybody could have put it there. So where's your proof I did it? Why would she do this? I don't think she's the duke, because, like, or the duck, because, like, you know, like, I don't know. I wouldn't think so. It's too early to, you know, <laughs> it's too early for that to be the case. Explain it away a dumb blonde like me can understand. Fine, I'll start with the murder weapon that was used by, used on Mystic then. The poison Posh found in the broken vase was only meant to distract us. Remember, this is Mystic we're talking about. Someone as brilliant as him would have been on guard against any threats, yet he ignored it completely. Which means the broken vase was... Wait, wait, wait. Mystic we're talking about. Someone as brilliant as him would have been on guard against any threats. He ignored it completely. Posh found... The poison Posh found the broken vase was only meant to distract us. Uh, oh, wait. There was, like, another thing. An accident, a red herring. Yeah, I think it is a red herring. Fuck you, flower vase. <laughs> Damn it, it was you who did the flower vase, too? It's so sad. It's so fucking sad. It apparently cause extreme reactions through skin contact. I think a red herring. Right? I think so. Yeah! Oh man, we're almost at full trust, baby! The broken vase was just a red herring. It was intentionally placed there to throw us off the trail of how Mystic was actually poisoned. I do like, um, since it's like our first kind of like actual trial sort of thing, it's kind of cool to see how it, I don't know, complements the, um, whatchamacallit, um, the investigation section too with like that literally activating traps and it being like a red herring, you know what I mean? It's kind of cool. 
I beg your pardon? Are you suggesting that I, the fifth highest ranking member of the DA, was misled by a red herring? Yeah, I am. You grew flustered after becoming a suspect, making you a valuable asset in the murderer's scheme. Though, considering the nature of this case, perhaps the culprit anticipated that whoever wound up under suspicion would panic. Okay. <laughs> I just decided to frame Posh because she has too similar of a voice to me. There can't be two Kazunas. After all, the, contained, the contaminated water wouldn't have been capable of poisoning anybody, no matter how much time passed. Come again? Have you forgotten the vases that are placed all throughout the manor? Many of which were emitting toxic gas? Gas? Upon analysis, I concluded that the neurotoxin in the water wasn't particularly volatile. In other words, it couldn't evaporate to fill a room. That's exactly it, Techie. The poison involved in this morning's fight between Armor and Rowdy differed from that found at the crime scene. When prepping the poison for the trap room, the culprit likely chose one with a low volatility on purpose, so they wouldn't have in to inhale it. Oh yeah, Brian, I wish there was a little more gameplay oriented in this part, but I like it. I feel like, honestly, with this part, I kind of just wish there was more, like, animations, you know? Like, in Danganronpa, there's, like, the Sora Wachigalia, like, the, uh, sprite. I wish we had something like that, because, like, you know, we have the assist, like, you know, thing that pops up during the investigation, so I kind of just wish when he got something right, instead of just the trust level thing, there was some kind of, like, boom, baby, kind <laughs> of, you know? Some little animation. Cause it's just, it just gets you hype. I don't know why. I don't know what it is, but... <laughs> It just gets you fucking hyped. When prepping the poison for the trap room, the culprit likely shows one with a low volatility on purpose, so they wouldn't have to inhale it. After discovering vases emitting toxic gas, it's only natural to think the same poison was part of the crime. Our assumptions were used against us. I just feel like little animations would make it hype, you know what I mean? Because I don't know, I feel like every time I do Sora White Chigayo and like Danganronpa, I'm like, fuck yeah, baby, <laughs> let's go. I don't know, it just gets me hyped, man. Then tell me, what method was used to assail Mystic? The cameras are all nothing. Do they not? Actually, they did catch the murder weapon because downtown always has it with her. Always? Um, beg your pardon? Um, what, dude? Are you even, what are you even saying? Like, seriously, what? If you're so sure of yourself, then show us already. Show everyone the weapon I used to kill Mystic. The murder weapon used by downtown was... Her nails? Is that it? Toilet toxicology. Uh, I feel like it's her nails. Or her hair clip. And no, she don't she got a knife on her, right? Does she? <laughs> Does she? I don't know. I feel like it's her nails. Maybe it's just because the Junko thing, though. <laughs> Which can apparently cause extreme reactions through skin contact. But well, she had poison on her nails. Would it be... Wouldn't that, like, affect her? Whatever. Fuck it. I'm gonna say her nails. Yes! I fucking knew it not to trust those nails. Your nails. You're always painting them. And in this instance, your fa false nail served as the weapon. That was the Phantom Killer's trick. Oh my god. She literally slayed with the nails too. Damn you, downtown. Oh my god, not the Kenji. <laughs> Oh my god. The color drains from downtown's face in an instant. She must have been confident that she wouldn't get caught. As it so I want to know why she did this. As it so happened, this case was hiding yet another exceptional trick. I knew never to trust red nails, dude. Never. Never trust red long nails. Had we approached things in terms of how the weapon was concealed, we may not have realized the horrifying truth of what that weapon was. She truly did slay in both ways. I can't. Downtown sharpened her nails into the shape art girl. No, no. No. <laughs> you did not. Into <laughs> fucking shape. Into the shape of a knife. She literally stabbed him with her nails. I can't. This is so this is goofy. <laughs> she sharpened her nail to the shape of a knife. Applied a neurotoxin to the tip like polish, then used it to stab Mystic. She literally slayed with those nails, honey. The poison used was batrotoxin, so potent it can kill via skin contact alone. Why would you kill Dad? Piercing flesh and hitting, and hitting a vein would be more than enough. By incorporating the weapon into her personal style, downtown managed to wield it in plain sight. Wait a second, incompetent. Doing her nails would be part of her morning routine, no? 
If she applied the poison then, it would have surely dried by the time of the crime. Plus, irrespective of how close-knit the DA may be, I don't think a seasoned veteran like Mystic would let his guard down so easily. How exactly did Downtown manage to stab Mystic with her nail? Downtown utilized subtle manipulation methods on us over the past three days to answer both of your questions. Think back, Downtown typically did her nails during meals, right? We can all imagine her doing it. Which is why Mystic didn't think twice when she began applying the poison. Damn, she really was always putting on the nail polish. She was doing that on purpose? Damn, big brained. While standing right next to him. What, so then Downtown was painting her nails on camera? Correct, she wasn't reapplying any polish. She was coating her nail, the murder weapon in poison. Man, I actually have some like, well, I guess it's like more gel, gel nails that I bought, but I have red nail polish too. I wish I had it right now. <laughs> so I can do it, I can match with her. We can be besties, twinsies. Nobody would ever assume the person right next to them was putting poison on their fucking nails. <laughs> but sometimes it's hardest to see what's right under your nose. Of course we didn't notice her as she boldly prepared her scheme in plain sight. Remember, downtown has a tendency to get in our personal space, too. Hugging Mystic. Oh my god, you bitch! Oh god, and it's okay, I still love her. I still love her because she's slain. Just like, just like Kenji. Truly a Kenji, Kenny. But, oh my god. She really did it when she hugged him. I can't. <laughs> I got some words I'm gonna call you, girl. He was right to block that hug, dude. He fucking knew. He was like, oh, done. oh my god. Hugging Mystic after his big discovery. Wouldn't be out of character for her. He didn't seem the type to complain if her nails drew some blood either. Damn, dude, that's fucked up. After that, she created the perfect alibi, waiting patiently for the living room. As the poison took effect, the ice melted and the door closed shut. Just a moment, let us suppose that downtown is indeed the culprit. Was my fleeing the scene of the crime a mere coincidence then? What would she have done had I not fled the trap room? Well, that's because... Posh found a hole in my theory. Downtown's plan required Mystic to be all alone. Okay, would she like, call her or something then? Oh, thank you, big chunk of Weeby McDonald X Burger King fanfics. Honestly, this game has pretty limited character sprites as well. Not much diversity in the characters' reactions. They're very unique sprites. Yeah, that's true. I do like the art a lot for this game, but I can kind of see what you mean. Um, because I don't think we've seen anything too crazy in terms of, um, you know, like... I guess, granted, we haven't had any, like, big, big true nature reveals just yet. But, um, yeah, we haven't seen a whole lot of, like, you know, super big, um, sprites. Uh, this game has a budget to follow, so I'm not surprised limited sprites, but I feel like the game still did a decent job despite that, yeah. It would be nice, um, at least, like, you know, for some true nature reveals to have, like, some, you know... Kamida like crazy sprites, you know what I mean? But I, I can see what you guys both mean. Bosh found a hole in my theory. Downtown's plan required Mystic to be alone. What would her plan have been if she couldn't separate him from everybody else? I <laughs> uh, still can't finish the job, I see. I guess I'll step in, because I'm so perfect. Renegade, who had been keeping silent this whole time, steps forward with a smug grin. I'll throw you a lifeline. Consider it a treat for working so hard. Are you implying you know the culprit managed to isolate Mystic? Sure am, it was almost too easy. Renegade fishes a D-pad from his pocket, then waves it back and forth teasingly. Uh, oh my god, she DM'd her! You know, you blocked me, Posh, but you should have blocked downtown. I think you, Zane Kier. Oh, that's your first super chat, appreciate ya. Imagine Renegade in a tingle... A tingle cosplay from Zelda and making a pun out of his catchphrase make me tingle <laughs> Why would you give me that? Why would you give me that image? <laughs> I'm dead. Oh God, he does. God, he says that so much, dude <laughs> Tingle. Thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate you. God, that's hysterical Seeing this, Pasha's face turns bright scarlet. She begins shouting at him in anger Why you return my d-pad this instant. Don't tell me you were the one who stole it earlier, too earlier oh oh um <laughs> posh quickly covers her mouth with regret her reaction makes it obvious that this wasn't the first time her d-pad had been stolen considering her usual haunter i can imagine it's difficult for her to admit such a thing say just swipe the gal's d-pad and she'll go running it's simple as that 
Mystic messaged our D-pads right before dying, yeah? Just imagine how flustered she'd feel after realizing hers had suddenly gone missing. Okay. So she stole it so that she would, like, once, you know, Mystic sent the message, she would want to run out and look for it. Okay, I see. I guess how would she know that Mystic was going to send a message, though, is the only thing. Unless he found something that, um, you know, that she set up as, like, a trap. Like, the vase! Maybe. Ugh. I hate to admit it, but Pasha's rueful expression proves that Renegade's, Renegade's theory is spot on. Her actions have been manipulated, as had everything. Luck and confidence been saying, with the right touch, you can wrap anyone around your finger easy peasy for a smooth talker like downtown. I'm on board with your train of thought here, Incompetent, but I prefer to just enjoy the ride. Oh my god, you're just like me for real. Oh, I just want to see the drama. You can take care of the sweet nothings. Okay, are you flirting with me? True to his word, Renegade steps back. I turn to address downtown once again. This time, I'll definitely get her to confess. If you have any counter-arguments downtown, go on and say them. You've been a huge help to me ever since we came to this island. Personally, I would love for my theory to be disproven. Please, I only want you to be honest with us. So, like, <laughs> so, like, where's your evidence? Poison? Oh, my God. Are you serious? Poison nail polish? Me sharpening into a knife? <laughs> How stupid is that? You should try getting into creative writing. Too bad it's just a waste of energy if you got nothing to back it up. You keep... Oh, okay. She's getting a little mad. You keep going on about this and that and blah, blah, blah. I'm sick of you and your crazy talk. You want to do me like this? Then show me some fucking proof. How about you come take a look at my nails? If you got all figured out, then there should be some trays of poison left over. All right? Get over here and let me just fucking... <laughs> let me just stab you right now. Uh, oopsie. My hand slipped and I poisoned him. Oopsie. I mean, I didn't because there was no poison in my nails. Guys, believe me. No, there wouldn't actually. Bachelor toxin is extremely lethal. False nails or not, keeping it on your person for hours would be too great of a risk. <laughs> God, her eyes are getting all creepy. And you've got zero evidence. God, you really are delusional. Way to grasp these straws, bro. Oh, yeah, I guess you might have flushed it in the, um, whatchamacallit. I guess I can't look at the evidence here. In the toilet, too, because, like, she went to the bathroom, like, right um, after us. So, I guess, I don't know the exact time table or timeline but she probably hugged him then went to the bathroom and flushed it down because that was where techie found the poison or whatever too actually i can prove that you managed to dispose of the murder weapon your luck ran dry when you bumped into me when i exited the shower before you were able to destroy the evidence yes that was that downtown was hurrying somewhere to dispose of the poison she was headed to the toilets Hey, full trust. After administering the neurotoxin on Mystic, you rush to the toilet to flush your nails and the poison on it down the drain. That's why a nail was missing on your index finger when you returned to the living room. Oh. Ah! And Gurk. I didn't think much of it at the time, but bumping into and speaking with me took away your chance to apply a new nail. You originally planned to do so in the bathroom, but since your alibi hinged on you watching the footage, you left right after flushing the nail. Damn, was that vision we saw? Was that, like, her little plan to kill all of us? Because it's just kind of weird because the vision that we saw, like, it seemed like she was dying too, like, right? <laughs> like, you know? I don't know. I can't figure out what was going on with that. I guess we'll kind of see. But it seemed like she was, you know, a victim as well. I guess it was kind of weird that she, like, wasn't dying, you know? They all were dead and she hadn't died yet, but still... Analysis confirmed. Traces of voucher toxin in the toilet water. There's no question our mischievous little phantom is to blame. Care to explain yourself downtown? I... I didn't! Huh? I said I didn't take my nail off, okay? Quit dogpiling me already! We can literally see it off. Can anyone besides incompetent prove that I did? Well, anyone... Oh, no, Art, no, not the himbo. No, just come on, come on. He's just, he's just, he's just come on, no, he's sad. No, no, Art, no, no, he's so sad. He's like, I thought we were besties. Oh, no, he's like, I must commit seppuku, <laughs> considering that one of my besties is now a killer. It's like, can you, can you please hold off on that for two seconds, Armor? Look at him, he looks so sad, my boy, my boy. She turns to Armor, but he shakes his head vigorously. I do apologize. My memory is... No, Armor, come on. I have my back. My memory is somewhat hazy. As 
See, you're the only witness incompetent. You can just make up whatever false accusations you wanted. Did the camera show me missing a nail? No. Then you seriously need to check yourself. Downtown steadily moved towards me with a ferocious look on her face. Jesus Christ. She's about to stab me with her nail. She's about to slay me. She's desperately trying to talk her way out of this, but there's only one more step I need to take to refute her. This is no time to ease up. I hope Armor doesn't hate me after this. If my account alone won't suffice, I guess at least Bookworm will probably like me a lot. I know someone who was... I know someone's who will. The person with the best memory in the Detective Alliance. And that person would be... Uh, bookworm. We're maxed out, baby! I'm about to contact the girl in question via D-pad when a voice interrupts. Oh, hell yeah, she's gonna come in. Um, hello? What are you all so quiet for? Your giant witch hunt finally run out of steam? I've been canceled on Twitter so many times, guys. I know how to deal with this shit. You got nothing on me. If you don't have conclusive evidence, then, then just do us all a favor and just... I will share my eyewitness account, the girl announced, glowering at her mortal adversary. You get her, bookworm. Um, is she gonna be like our new, our new bestie? Um, bookworm, why are you here? You killed my dad! Oh yeah, I kinda wanted to see her, um, can I look at, oh, she's got like a little, uh, character on her backpack. Kinda just wanna look at that really quickly. Bookworm wears her usual calm, unaffected aura, having swept away any traces of weakness. Her adoptive father, Mystic, was killed in this very room. Simply entering it must have been unimaginably difficult. Bookworm, are you all right? You don't, you, do, you don't need to stay in here. Let's talk outside. Don't patronize me. I'm a detective as well. Aw, how can I remove myself from the situation when I hold the key to this conundrum? Said the girl, her lips curling into a crooked grin. Fuck her up. Oh, so you got the key, do ya? Sick. What kind of evidence did you find? Uh, oh, she's sweating. I saw you twice today. First at breakfast and then immediately following the incident. When you carried me to my room. That was when I noticed you were missing. That's when I noticed you were missing one of your pretty matching nails. The one on your right index finger, said the girl who pointed in a manner. Okay, so she was able to replace it eventually. Oh, um, you probably just, I don't know, missed ticket for something. Can, come on, girl, we're besties. Oh, the voodoo doll is the one Mystic gifted her. No, I'm gonna kill <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> That's so sad, dude. Oh, man, now I'm sad. Everyone knows how comprehensive my memory is. This is no mistake, the girl replied at once. It could be that downtown carried Bookworm to her room so that she could find a private space to reapply her missing nail. You can fool the camera, but you can't fool the human eye. There's no take talking yourself out of this one, downtown. <laughs> Grr. Ugh. Downtown lets out a miserable groan. She isn't defending herself. Now's my chance to recap the events and press her for a confession. Oh, hell yeah. It's time for the final... What is it? Closing argument. Yeah! Thing. A similar thing. The case of the Phantom Killer began the moment we arrived on this island. No, perhaps even before that. Why, why do you want to kill us from the beginning, girl? I don't get this. From the start, downtown made her personality known, giving us the impression of a bubbly, touchy-feely fashionista who I cannot fucking trust a fashionista ever. <laughs> I should have known when she called herself a fashionista. Touchy-feely fashionista who always made time for her nails. She then casually remarked that the doors on the second floor were badly built and readily provided the doorstop. That was vital to her gambit. You know, honestly, <laughs> I think Bookworm should be the one to push her outside of the building to the target dog. She deserves it. She deserves to be the one to do that. <laughs> Thank you, Big Chunk of Weeby, McDonald X Burger King fanfics. After they find Mystic's body, incompetent. Who could have possibly done this? Downtown default Fortnite dancing in the corner. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> That's so weird. I'm just flossing over here. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> oh man, thank you for the dono. She then casually remarked the doors on the second floor were badly built and really provided the doorstop that was vital to her gambit. With everything in place for today, she slipped the ice-filled thermos into her pocket, headed upstairs and awaited her moment to strike. Once Mystic shared his discovery, she hugged him. Like usual, before stabbing him with her poison nail, I'm positive he never saw it coming. Maybe the thing he noticed was her being sussy. Then she swapped the doorstop for ice as she fled the scene. Out of a variety of sizes, she selected one that would melt when the poison took effect. 
Oh man, this song's good. All she had to do then was flush the nail and the evidence would be gone, but her plan hit a snag when she bumped into me on her way to the toilet. This delay led her to prioritize establishing an alibi. Thus, she appeared in the living room with a missing nail, unwittingly sealing her fate. The culprit of this case was no phantom. Rather, she used her social skills to create an uncertain conception of herself, camouflaging the murder weapon and her intent to kill. So there you have it. She slayed in both ways. I rest my case. The reality of this horrific case. If you got any objections downtown, now's the time. There's a long pregnant. <laughs> what the? <laughs> pregnant pause. I've never heard that. Uh, never heard it described quite like that before. There, as if shattering the silence. Fine, fine, you got me. I give up, dude. Yeah, it's me, the phantom killer who murdered Mystic. I'm like, I'm like so sorry for putting you guys through this. I'm like so sorry for murdering. That was like really not cool of me. With her usual carefree attitude, downtown finally confesses to the crime. I've never heard of a pregnant pause in my life. At last, downtown confesses to the murder of Mystic. With a hint of hesitation, she continues on bubbly as ever. Oh, well, what are you gonna do now? I'm the killer, so how do you wanna handle this? Tie me up with a rope or something? Oh, and by the way, Incompetent was right. That poison manicure is kind of my signature method. Girl, how many, how many times did you kill it? How many times did you kill it? So leave my hands free, bad idea. Oh, I know, if you want, I can give you guys a little tutorial on how I work with Poi. Ooh, Koi jerking us around. Rowdy lunges towards downtown, her hand clenched tight. Rowdy! I grab her hand quickly, nearly intercepting the blow. Had I been even a second later, Rowdy's fist would have pummeled downtown. Don't stop me, pal. She murdered all my mystic piece of trash. Yeah, it's like, kind of seems like she is a serial killer. She was like, that's just like signature move. It's whatever, you know. How do you think I became number one on TikTok? I had to, <laughs> had to kill Charlie D'Amelio somehow. She died randomly from poison. <laughs> and that was me. <laughs> Downtown could still be armed with poison. Just like killed all the biggest TikTokers <laughs> so she could be famous. <laughs> I understand how you feel, but provoking her is dangerous. We need to keep calm and listen to what she has to say. Fine, sorry I got so heated, boss. <laughs> hey, I'm the boss now. Downtown, I heard from Workaholic. Your best friend was murdered by the quartering duke, right? Yeah, for real. Does it have something to do with all this? Are you really working for the duke now? Did she think he was the duke? You still have that much faith in me, huh? Man, what a bleeding heart. You remind me of Miyuki when she was alive. Too nice to others, super wimpy, yet stubbornly persistent. And a total patsy for believing in a loser like me. Mm. Downtown. He looks cat eyes now. Downtown laughs in a deep, unfamiliar tone. <laughs> it's like music. A smirk pulling at the corner of her lips. <laughs> it's as if her usual bubbly persona had been mirrored in darkness, steadily sinking deeper and deeper into the murky depths. She's like in despair from her friend dying? It's true. My friend died because the Duke. But I don't resent him. Did you really say on God, on God during your fucking evil speech? I can't with this. <laughs> you deserve to go to the target dog for that. On God. <laughs> no cap. Like, be so fucking for real right now. I'm like totally a serial killer. And I'm so glad my best friend was murdered. I'm actually kind of thankful. She was like always such a pain in the ass. I think she's lying. Having her die was a load off. I was so... So, over being her crutch all the time. On God. Anyways, after that, I accepted the Duke's offer and started killing people. It's a way more. Oh! She is! She is a Moid Boy type of girl! Okay, just kidding, girl. Maybe you are actually evil. Okay, no, she was being real. She was, she was being so for real right now. <laughs> Anyways, after that, I accepted the Duke's offer and started killing people. It's way more fun than being a detective. I'm like addicted. What the fuck, girly? Addicted? What are you saying? What kind of reasoning is that? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, we all get it, okay? I'm the worst and all that. 
Murder is bad. Life isn't a toy. You can't take your own life. <clears throat> oh, so lame. I've heard it all before. What about the people out there who live to kill? What about me? What about Junko? What about us Junko kiddies out here? There isn't a soul in the world who's like that. There isn't a soul in the world who's like that. Um, Yeah, there is. You're like looking at her right now. Ever since I was born, I've never felt alive. The quiet made me anxious, so I always had to be chatting. But that anxiety never went away. But then when someone died right in front of me, I was all like, oh my god, what a rush. This is like so slay right now. Once I slayed, oh my god, I could not stop. For the first time ever, I wasn't suffocating, piling up all those bodies in the research facility. That was you, girl! Now that was awesome. Like, I was legit feeling it. On cap, no god, slay. What? <laughs> Does she do a senior detective too? A young girl like you killing so many. It just isn't possible. You seriously underestimate high schoolers, Gramps. I saw my chance, slipped a poison and vase in the facility, and boom! And one tiny move, and voila. I was conducting a whole symphony of screams. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is wrong with her? I was like breathing for the first time, for the first time in forever. How could you laugh over something so hard? Can we? Okay, I'm cool with sacrificing her to the target dog now. Bookworm, let's, let's push. Let's push her out of the room. Doesn't it tear at your heart? I mean, when I killed them, my heart definitely did some flips. I've never bumped off that many people at once. Avi, the real dog. It's not about quantity. They're just randos. I only have one person in the whole world. I want to protect. So. Is it Junko? So screw everybody else. <laughs> I know it's not even the same game. I'll stop making jokes about her. But Jesus Christ, girly pop. I did not expect this from you. I remember people saying that we could, that we could fix her. But nope, we cannot. We cannot. Even my pals in the research facility, even Mystic and I like the guy. She speaks as if she's having a time. The time of her life. That unsettling smile. That bubbly voice. It's impossible to think it's all just a facade. I wish you could believe that it was. But here she is, amiable as ever, the same downtown I've always known. As much as I'd prefer otherwise, I can't avert my eyes from the true nature of the girl before me. Then why? I can't help but utter the question I desperately needed to know the answer to. Like, she was so sweet and encouraging to us. She was literally like, oh, I gave you the name and competent, but you know, you're gonna eventually become the competent detective. Like, I don't know, she seemed like so... So sweet. I guess she's just really good at manipulating, but yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Why did you comfort me while I was down? Um, you're the culprit, yet you were still there for me for the past three days. You've been happily helping us the entire time. If I truly remind you of this friend you hated, that just makes it even harder for me to believe you would do any of this. How much of it was an act? Tell me the truth. Downtown remains silent. Yeah, some of you, like, can't... I don't know. I don't know. Like, did she... Like, it really did seem so genuine. It's like, did she really hate her friend? Did she really hate me? I don't know. Downtown remains silent. After a long pause, she lets out a sigh. You dope. I'm just random. I'm just so random. I'm just random and goofy like that. I was just in a silly mood. I'll be straight. If you hadn't figured out the nail thing, I would have totally gotten off scot-free. Guess I wanted to give you a little boost. Oh, wait, did you think I was crushing on you? <laughs> I'm sorry to be a buzzkill, dude, but that little Miss Popular was your enemy all along. Surprise! Enough of this blabberdash. Explain why it is you killed Mystic this instant. Over 10 members remain, so why choose him as your sole target? I don't know. <laughs> it's not like old people. My motive was pretty simple. He already did his job. That's all. Did his job, you say? Uh, TBH. I was actually curious about the hidden passage myself. The whole flower vase thing was just to light a fire under your asses. I mean, if someone had died from that, it would have been whatevs, but, you know, it's whatever. Maybe, I guess she is just really good at manipulation. I thought, like... Yeah, is she still putting on an act? That's like what I'm wondering now, too. I'm like, I don't know. I think she is just evil, though. <laughs> I think she might just be an evil bitch. <laughs> but Mystic was killed before he could reveal anything to us. Looks like your scheme failed. 
What a bummer. But you know what? Mystic actually did tell me right before I left the trap room. I'm the only one he told even. I guess you can't sacrifice me then. <laughs> okay, cool. That's me. So yeah, after that he wasn't useful anymore. All his hard work sure paid off for the other side, that is. Downtown detective. Stay calm, bookworm. I'm trying to talk down bookworm, who looks ready to leap at downtown's throat. I can't believe downtown got Mystic to tell her location of the hidden passage. It must have been during the hug, right before she fled. The cameras don't pick up a sound, but there was a blind spot. We've been played all this time. Ransacking the fridge and starving you, poisoning, locking the trap room. There were tons of ways to go about it. So many ways to kill you guys. Just how like the Duke killed Senior. Okay, so the Duke was the one who killed Senior. And me with the stab. You're only still kicking because it suited us. Do you get it now? The Duke has you all goody goody losers dancing on the palm of his hand. Everyone goes quiet all along. The enemy's goal was to find that hidden passageway. No wonder their focus wasn't on killing us. That never needed, that was never their intention to begin with. I berate myself with every fiber of my being for not noticing sooner. So you know the location of the passage then. That simplifies things a bit. We'll get the intel out of you one way or another. Don't expect any mercy from us, downtown detective. Yes, seriously. Hey, that was pretty badass for a boring old fart. He's like 20. Boring old fart like you. If I was just some dumb blonde, I'd like totally be falling, falling for you. A little late in the game for that, though. Uh. Oh, what the fuck? As she speaks, downtown reaches into her sleeve and some kind of liquid splashes onto the floor. Is she about to sewer slide? Within seconds, the white steam begins rising from the ground. Oh, she's gonna disappear? Ah! Unless it's like poison or something. A chemical reaction? Gonna pile you guys up just like the bodies in the laboratory. Everyone, what? Run. Downtown just created a poisonous gas. Oh, it is. It's so true, bestie. You are so right. If you don't dip, you're like screwed, you know. Of course, the clock's ticking down anyways. Unless you manage to find that passage. Oh, wow. Sucks to be you guys right now. Don't breathe it in, guys. A single breath could have serious long-term effects. Jesus Christ. Ick, we've got to hurry and get out of here right now. The ga the castle will fill the room in no time if we stay put. Alonzi, I shall be your leader. A polish runs, rushes out of the room, blazing the path forward as I attempt to follow her. I hear a certain someone's voice echoing through my head. Aw, think... <laughs> I miss you, Dad. I miss you so much. Think nothing of it. It is, after all, a human nature to protect your companions. Is it not? But remember this. The trepidation within the hearts of man often obscures the facts. I, too, was once imprisoned by it, committing a grave error as a result. Thus do I now hone my knowledge, so as to better face the supernatural and occult. For every deadlock, there is a ray of hope to be found. It is vital that a detective have the will to defy fear and pursue the truth. Don't panic now. This is a vital moment for us to discover the truth. <laughs> I mumble as if trying to convince myself. He would want you to slay her. That's what, that's what Mystic would want. Do it. Do it, incompetent. Um, should I be running? You're like, Toad's gonna die, dude. You're making too much of a show about trying to kill us. It's more like what you actually want is to empty the room. Ah. The hidden passageway may be our only means of escape. If you're trying to force us out this room, that could only mean... There's a mechanism in this room... The poison gas is fake. We're unable to escape. Huh. I was thinking the poison gas is fake. But I also feel like... I thought maybe she didn't actually know where the hidden passage was and she was trying to get us to find it. I'll do that. Oh, shit! <laughs> what am I even saying? I need to stay calm. God damn it. The hidden passage. Holy mean. We're unable to escape? Uh, mechanism in this room. I can see it being either. God damn it! <laughs> I would did so good this whole game. That's so true. This room houses a mechanism to open it. It's obvious given how focused Mystic was about searching here. 
Wow, nice imagination, dudes. How can you get to the passageway from here, huh? Go on, tell me. Thank you for chucking weed at McDonald Burger King fanfics. I guess I should have watched your TikTok more. She posted videos like that time I slayed 30 people at once and how I get away with murder. She's like, guys, I really want y'all to leave the room so I can do a TikTok. TikTok and the poison gas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know? I don't think it's hidden in this room, actually. Um? Mystic asked us to gather in the living room, not here in the trap room. There must have been a reason for this. We found the mechanism here, but asked everyone to gather elsewhere. There could be only one explanation. The trap room's mechanism opens a hidden passageway in... Oh, the dining room? Because it's like right below us, right? God dang it. I totally messed up getting the RT, dude. That sucks. Was it... Was it Wait, is the living room or the dining room? Was the living room that was right below us? Oh, wait, god damn it. I think it was the living room, right? Okay. <laughs> it must be in the living room. The mechanism in the trap room opens a passageway there. You can't save scum at all. As for the mechanism itself, there's also just one possibility. The hidden passage is only revealed when... I'm like trying to see if I can get this. Again, there's a video someone posted where all the RTs, so if you don't get them, they're all on YouTube. Yeah, that works then. I was just doing so good, man. Uh, trap rooms, mechanism, god damn it. Okay, opens a hidden passageway in the living room. It must be in the living room. The mechanism in the trap door opens a passage there. As for the mechanism itself, there's also just one possibility. The hidden passage is only revealed when the trap is active. It's all dependent on the trap itself. The passage re revealed when the spikes are activated. That's why you made us run. The living room is the last place any of us would flee to. If everyone cleared out, no one would be able to find the passage. Your last ditch effort was all just another manipulative performance. Or am I mistaken downtown? <laughs> Bingo. Nice job seeing through all that, my dude. For real, you've grown a ton the last couple of days. I really shouldn't have helped you. That was like a huge mistake on my part. With a carefree smile, downtown laughs. As we speak, the room continues to fill with the poison gas. <laughs> I'm feeling dizzy. I may have already inhaled some of it. There really isn't any time to spare. Whatever. For now, let's go to that hidden passage downtown. You don't plan on dying here, do you? Oh, oh back up. Don't talk like you know me. I don't know your end goal, but I know you have a reason for causing these tragedies. You supported me when we lost Holmes. So now let me return the favor. Let's get out of here together, downtown. Jeez, you really are just like her. Huh? Ideal. Oh, hey! Oh, hey, it is! It's the, oh, God, it's the flashback there. The You know, the vision that we got. Ugh. Downtown covers her mouth and coughs. From behind her hand, blood begins to drip. Downtown, quick! We need to go. We need to go fast, bro. You were like literally causing. You were literally causing that vision to happen. <laughs> it's like, no, guys, let's continue the trial. We got. We still got stuff that we need to say. Reach out, but the poisonous cloud surrounding her has already gotten too thick to approach. She'll die if we don't do anything soon. Dummy, this gas will totally wreck you if you breathe it in. You're screwed if it even touches your skin, dude. This has got to be karma or whatever. Fitting in for a killer, though, huh? Quit screwing around, downtown. Come away, good lady. We beseech you. Armor Rowdy. I thought that you had gone already, but here they are next to me, calling to downtown with all their might. You messed up real bad. So don't think you're off the hook yet, but even still. You think you can get out of this by dying? That won't solve a damn thing, you stooge. Here, 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 Lady Rowdy. Perhaps good Sir Techie could can talk to Healing Elixir now. C over hither, po post haste. Listen to them downtown. You don't know for certain that you'll die. Don't give up on living. You gotta fight until the end. Come on, hurry. You got a whole. <laughs> Come on, we can fix you, girl. Uh, you definitely cannot. Ooh. Dude, incompetent. Ugh, his eyes. For the first time, utter confusion shows through downtown's carefree facade. What the hell, man? I literally betrayed you, hurt you, and killed your friends. How dumb are you? Why don't you give up on me? Why are you still trying to help me? There's no use blaming anyone right now. <laughs> okay, I blame her. 
I'm not I'm not as nice as incompetent. I, I blame you for sure, since it's literally what you did, but it's fine, whatever. Right now, what we need is to think about where to go from here. That's the same thing you told me downtown back when I was getting down on myself. We can discuss your crimes later. We're going to work through this together. You need to come over here now. <laughs> I mean, like, I like her as a character, but I definitely blame her 100% for <laughs> what she did to Mystic. <laughs> Downtown cackles fitfully. The tone of her laughter is shifted, utterly devoid of its former sweetness, almost as if she was mocking herself. I feel like at least in Dog and Rapa, you can like not, you can kind of be like, oh, you know, it's Monokuma's fault. Don't, I don't blame the killer, but this, it's like, she's literally working with the Duke. Like, I, I think I blame her. <laughs> Ooh, you're such a bleeding heart. Like legit, it makes me want to cry. Downtown. Blood streams from her eyes now. Ew. Like tears, it runs down her cheeks. You poor, you poor sweet summer children. This is all a total walk in the park for me. You're no mass match against the complete whack job you're up against. But still, you tried. So here's a little hint. The Duke is the reason my friend died. And me killing Mystic and the folks on the island. It's like all connected. Senior detective died because of the Duke. I killed Mystic and now I'm gonna die too. Not because of anybody else, but out of my own free will. She did seem pretty miserable, like, based off of what she was saying. Like, she always has anxiety when she's talking to people. The only time she was truly happy was, like, murdering people. So, I don't really know that, uh, you know, she really would want to live longer after that. After this, you know, she's caught and probably has to go to jail or something. Just chew on that for a sec. What do those words really mean? What are you saying? You can't give up on living. If anyone tries to hurt you, I'll protect you. So please, get over here now. Super annoying until the very end. Jeez. Still, it was kind of like meeting her again. So I guess I'm not too pressed about this. I know I should stay in my lane and all, but you make it out. You make it out alive, okay, dude? Aw. Oh no, the blood. Dying is way scarier than I thought it would be. Damn. No, downtown. So incompetent, step no closer, lest you place your life in grave peril. Armor stops me as I attempt to run to downtown. He was now collapsed on the ground. It's obvious I'm too late, but it doesn't matter if I run to her now. I won't be able to save her. But still, I can't bear leaving her in this room by herself. We gotta book it, bub. What? Rowdy grabs me by the scruff and hauls me towards the exit by force. But Rowdy, we can't just leave downtown like that. Uh-oh, well, yes, we can. She's like, uh, I don't give a shit anymore about that girl. You got ears, don't you? She told you to survive, bucko. Everything else might have been a lie, but I reckon she meant that one. You brought out the real downtown for just a sec there. I hope I get to learn more about her, though, after all this. So keep on living for her sake, too. Sure, she won't get to think about where to go from here, but we can pick up where she left off. Yeah, thanks, Rowdy. Damn. With that, we leave the trap room. Just as, I, just as I had deduced earlier, the room begins to shut the moment I let go of it. By my fay, how vexing. We must push the door shut the time, lest the gas escape. Che, we're, we got a bigger problem, bub. Where's that stinking passage? If we go downstairs, won't the gas spread and kill us anyways? Oh, yeah. All right, the passageway. As I watched the door shut, I suddenly recall the whereabouts of the hidden passage. I hypothesized that it would open up in the living room, but only while the trap was active, which means closing this door. You two, to the first floor, now! Hold, sword incompetent, we have yet to shut the door! Now leave that shit open, we don't need to, in fact, we don't want to. Just let it close by itself. What do you mean, the gas will leak out! It's fine, even if it did, it wouldn't matter. Because I already know where to find the hidden passage. Do, 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 do. Unbelievable. I told you to get out of here, stat. Do you know how involved the poison decontamination process is? Sorry. I quickly gather everyone in the living room where we use the squeaky, eh, squeaky cleany, to a spraying friend Techie made to sanitize ourselves. Oh my goodness. The fact that Techie even had decontamination equipment is a testament to his reliability. Well, incompetent, why did you usher us to the living room? As, as I said before, we have no other choice but to flee out, outdoors. This manor is sorely lacking in proper ventilation. If we continue to dilly-dally like this, the poison will... 
Oh, Lord, have mercy on us all. True mercy would be to send you straight to him in person. The girl snapped back. Aw, no. A number of the detectives shoot frustrated looks at me. I can hardly blame them. It would be too, it'd be one thing for Holmes to do this, but I'm the lowest ranking detective here. Not to mention, I've gathered everybody in one spot while toxic gas is threatening to kill us. They're bound to have an ocean of complaints. But I can't just let the conversation stop here. Sorry I didn't explain things, but you'll have to understand in a bit. I suggest when we hit the end to go back to the save point before the trial and get the full trust meter. Yeah, I was thinking about doing that, honestly, just so I can get the RT for the next one. I might honestly just do that after we end the stream. You see, the secret passage is hidden right here in the living room. What? I beg your pardon? But we made a thorough search of this room, only to discover nothing, the girl argued dubiously. Right, that's to be expected. After all, the passage is temporary. It only opens for a limited period of time. The girl tilts her head in confusion, a question mark hovering above her. <laughs> I love how she narrates Quit pushing on Aries and telling us how it works. The patient of the prestigious ought not to be tested. The secret is that the passage is only available when the trap in the room above us is active. I guess maybe through the fireplace? That kind of seems like where you would leave. I don't know where it'll appear though, so keep your eyes peeled. I would assume as much. I found it! Incompetent! It's opening up in the fireplace! Had a feeling. I'll look where Doleful is pointing and see that the hearth of the fireplace has shifted. Revealing a path that leads underground. Attaboy, Doleful. Let's head down there. I smell no trace of people. No one has used this passage in a very long time. I see. It's not hard to fathom a mechanism that opens this in tandem with the trap door upstairs. Oh, thank you. Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. Kentucky makes sniffy whiffy for everyone. I know, right? I need, I need, I need merch of all his little tech friends. They're so cute. I'm sorry I didn't notice, workaholic. And I were even here when Mystic died. Uh, only the floor of the fireplace moves and it doesn't make a sound. It's no wonder you didn't realize. It's only apparent once you've realized the possibility that the mechanism could have had an interconnected function. How very elegant. Yeah, it's incredible. I'm sure that the self-closing door is part of its design, too. If it shut right away, we'd have no time to reach the living room, but since it's delayed, we were able to notice the changes and spot the passage. Hoide! Such considerance went into this contraption. And to think you were able to comprehend such an unwanted mechanism, so incompetent, you astound me! If Mystic hadn't noticed and left us a clue, there's no way I would have figured it out. He helped us from the grave. We owe it all to him. He came to our rescue once again. Oh no, oh no, bookworm, it's okay. It's okay, baby. Trembling bookworm, Trilly places her hand in mine. I squeeze it silently. Oh man, we gotta be like her little, her big brother now. Mystic was killed for figuring out how to uncover the hidden passage. But the information he left behind saved us all. Mystic was able to protect others until the end, like a true detective. Get the lid, get the lid out. We don't know when this thing will close. I'll lead the way. Let's stop talking for 20 minutes. Thank you, big chunk of Weedy McDonald X Burger King fanfics. <laughs> I love saying your name. You know, since three ranked detectives have died, that technically means incompetent rank has gone up. I ain't saying more of them dying is good, but <laughs> oh my god. Get to like the end of their game, they're like, you know, who would benefit the most from all the detectives dying? He's like, uh, d don't look at me. <laughs> but it do be kind of true. Wait, Rowdy, there could be traps, like, in the passage, other passageway. One by one, the detectives enter the passage through the fireplace with Rowdy and Doleful in the lead. Only Bookworm, Armor, and I remain. Oh, let's go together, Bookworm. Oh, we gotta be your big brother, come on. She nods silently as I grip her hand, and we head to the passage as a pair. I feel like she probably has, like, trauma for sure from like her old other parents dying of course from her new dad dying or like adopted dad i wonder if that's partially why she doesn't show emotions or she has a hard time like maybe i don't know processing them or like you know showing them i don't know just a thought i remember however doesn't move with us he's sad boy too my apologies i just recalled a minor task i must fulfill oh my god stop trying to sewer slide armor <laughs> a task there's no time we need to get through here as soon as possible 
Fear not, I know where in the passage lies now. I shall force the way open if I- God damn. Can you stop trying to unalive yourself for two seconds? I must go into- I must go into the poison gas room and lay down there for an hour. Oh my god. Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> Armor Dash is out of the room. What could he possibly have to do at a time like this? He'll be fine. He is a remarkably durable after all. Let's prop open the entrance and head out. Suggested the girl, urging them to move on. Right, sounds good. Move again towards the passageway. There's a ladder within that we can use to climb down. With Bookworm as my guide, I head down the ladder first. I move one rung at a time into the gloom. It's too dark to see as I proceed. Downtown's dying face flashes in my mind. So messed up. If I was a better detective, maybe I could have saved her. Downtown died smiling without ever revealing her true self. <clears throat> she cheered me up when I was down. She showed pure rage against the quartering duke and she mocked her fellow detectives. Then right before her death, she told me to make it out of here alive. So confusing. I really hope we do get to see more of her, like more, learn more about her, you know? She seemed like a very interesting character. But I guess maybe when we like, there's gotta be other people that are working with the Duke too. Maybe like once they're revealed, we'll learn more about like them and just in general why these people decided to join the Duke in the first place. Thank you, Brian Ford. We really need to put a leash on armor for real. <laughs> for real, honestly. <laughs> we really do. I never learned what issues, he like almost dies every, every episode. I never learned what issues she was dealing with, why she joined forces with the quartering Duke or her true thoughts about her friend. My inadequacies leave me utterly disappointed in myself. If figuring everything out were that simple, Watto, all of us detectives would be out of a job. Holmes appears right next to me in the darkness. Your abilities saved the Detective Alliance from being poisoned by downtown. You prevented the tragedy that was set to occur with finesse. Okay, seems like people are getting ads, so I'm gonna take a water break. <laughs> Wait, thank you, big chunk of Weeby McDonald, ex Burger King fanfics. I'm happy downtown Uber <laughs> picked her up and brought her to Walmart so fast. I hope she can find all her makeup there with not many issues. She's like, why am I at Walmart? <laughs> why, why can't I freaking be at Sephora where I can get actual good makeup? This stuff's gonna make me break out. <laughs> thank you for the dono, Bridget. Appreciate ya. Give yourself some credit, Watto. I'm the only one who knows how many lives you've saved. But I couldn't save downtown. If my denouement had gone off, I could have prevented her suicide by poison. If only I was able to use it then. I'm certain you'll come to know this in time, but no matter how clearly, clearly you see the future, some people simply can't be saved. Predicting spontaneous events like her sewer slide is especially daunting. It may be extreme, but people can end their lives at any time or place. Yeah. Yeah. Not really too much we could have done there, honestly. So ultimately there was no saving downtown. I let out a heavy sigh at the overwhelming cruelty of reality. Once again, I made I made keenly aware of how this ability I gained from Holmes is far from infallible. But downtown didn't just die, she died while giving you a hint about the quartering. Duke, so that she might survive. I am confident that the Duke himself did not anticipate that either. This will no doubt be a crucial clue to unraveling this mystery. So pat yourself in the back, Watto. In the end, you were still able to save downtown's heart. Kind of. <laughs> you were able to fix her. A little bit. Thank you, Holmes. Just a little bit. Not fully. Don't go getting too excited there. The ladder ends at an all-too-familiar underground passage. It's kind of cool we get to see a new area. Because I didn't really think we would get any new areas since, um, you know... It's only like two floors, I think, the mansion. The other detectives kept moving. I hear their voices up ahead. After hesitating for a while, Bookworm timidly descends the ladder. I'm glad you made it down safely, Bookworm. Now come on, let's go! There was no need for you to wait. Aw, yeah, come on, you need somebody! Are you sure? Your concern is superfluous. To say nothing of how much you fretted over downtown detective and everyone else, said the girl, <laughs> making a face. Bookworm puffs her cheeks, annoyed. Did I do something wrong? I feel bad, but no matter how angry she gets, I still would have waited for her. 
The answer why is clear. She just sooned a ray. Sorry, Bookworm. It's just I want to be near others whenever I can. Working with them. Helping them out. It's kind of weird that at Walmart now, it's literally just it's senior detective who's sketch as hell. We got downtown who's also confirmed to be a murderer. And then poor Mystic. He's like, damn it, why can't why can't Ideal join me here? After all, I'm an incompetent detective. I can't do much of anything on my own. Granted, I'm still not convinced Senior's dead. Downtown was the one who gave me this name, and I'm gonna stick to it. Even if I can't do anything on my own, if I'm with someone, I can show my worth. I have faith that I can be a detective, like downtown, but maybe not the murderer part. <laughs> maybe not the the murdering part. Maybe I won't do that. Sequence, downtown, war, neurotoxins, nail polish, paralyzing mixed stick. Slade! She slayed who she wanted to slay and let the slay. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll just replay it. It's fine. <laughs> okay, is that the end of the chapter though? Should I save? It might be good to actually continue this next time. Maybe yeah, I'll just go through and uh, replay the trial so that I can uh, get the, the RT. I don't think it'll be that hard, honestly, anyway. So I think it's fine. The quartering duke. Duke, duke, duke. I think I gave him the I gave him the Mikado voice too, but yeah, I think it's probably a good place to end it. I think we're probably on the next chapter now, right? Chapter three. Or, yep, we're on chapter three. Yep, probably a good time to uh, figure it out then. Oh, live li live quartering Giaru edition. Wait, is this like the Void Theater thing? Oh wait, wait, is he gonna? Oh man, now I kind of want to play it. Is it literally like a Void Theater kind of thing? Oh my god, <laughs> that's awesome. That's okay. We'll, we'll just do it next time. It's like a Monokuma theater between chapters. That's awesome. I love it. Okay. I guess we'll we'll continue next time. That's fun, though. Okay, well, thanks, guys, for stopping by the stream. This is probably my favorite stream so far of this game. I really enjoyed it. Since we finally got some drama, we got a culprit. So, yeah, I'm excited to continue and kind of see where things go. It was definitely, um, uh, it's got, like, pretty good logic for, you know, a mystery game, too, which I really appreciate, because I feel like that's probably one of the biggest, you know, complaints I had with, like, other games I've played, like Wolf Game. But, uh, yeah, thanks, guys, for stopping by, and... Oh, yeah, thank you, Big Chunk of Weed and McDonald's, Burger King fanfics. Downtown new video, shoving at Walmart with my dad and annoying him so he will stop McDonald's with me. <laughs> and not Burger King, ew. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bridget, for the dono. Appreciate you. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, actually, wait. This is embarrassing. I dropped my mouse. <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta pick it up. Okay, now bye. <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye.